Ah, Sir de Sardé. Did you get my message? Indeed. The arrival of the de Vesp family in Tierfredi is surprising and no doubt worrying. But without knowing their intentions... Nothing good can come from that family, for the interests of the Dorsey family and Serene. But I truly cannot tell you anything about the reason for their presence. The message I received was brief. Aurelia de Vesp announced her arrival on the island and asked to see your cousin as soon as possible. She and her entourage seem to have settled in a region that I do not know. Adag Ol Credo, north of Vic Shadir. I think it would be good for you to locate her and try to find out more. I know this place, but I thought that only the Donegada from the Baragnodash clan knew how to access it. It's a sacred place. That's where Anemaid shed his blood. You should also take advantage and visit these unknown lands. Who knows what they have in store for us. You're right. It's better for us to go and see what it's all about. Goodbye, Lady Morange. Goodbye, Your Excellency. Be careful. Don't underestimate the trickery of the Divesps. I presume. Indeed. Delighted to meet you, Your Grace. The accounts I have been given of you and your companions don't do you justice. Truly, it is a pleasure. We're going to become wonderful friends, you and I. I'm sure of it. Say, aren't we going to be cousins soon? Pardon me, Your Grace, but I'm not sure I follow. And if I may ask, what is it precisely that brings you to this remote island? Haven't you heard? Well, <laughs> it seems the messengers on this island are not particularly reliable. No matter. Your uncle and my father have decided that your cousin, Prince Constantine, and I are to be married. So, here I am. <sighs> my. This is... <sighs> incredible news. I know you must be surprised. However, this alliance will be a wonderful way to put an end to the enmity between us, don't you think? 
But I must inform you that, sadly, my cousin, he's disappeared. We believe he may have been kidnapped. Oh? What horrible news? Uh, do you know who's responsible? I assume an investigation is underway. Of course. And I'm involved in the investigation. Every effort is being made to find the governor. Huh. Well, I'm most reassured that you're in charge. I'm sure you'll find him quickly, and that will soon be wedded as planned. Then, you and I will be cousins, of course. Furthermore, I was hoping I might be able to count on your assistance. Of course, Your Grace. What can I do for you? You see, I didn't want to impose myself on New Serene until all the necessary arrangements had been made for my arrival. I had the Noughts drop us off in a quiet place outside the city. Too far outside the city, clearly. There were these savages and bandits skulking around the woods and threatening us. They even robbed me. Worst of all, they took the chest in which I was keeping the marriage contract. Savages? The only savages I know are the ones who invaded our home. Oh, please forgive me, I meant no disrespect. Natives then, is it? In any case, it's absolutely mortifying to have to ask you this, but you know the island and its inhabitants better than I do. Could you perhaps retrieve the chest for me? I would be eternally grateful, cousin. Can you tell me more about the theft? Of course. We were unloading our things from those horrid little boats that the Norts get about in when it was taken. I was busy setting up camp at the time, so I didn't see who it was. My men didn't see much either, because it was dark. But certain natives from the region stopped by in the morning. They were aggressive and insisted that we leave. <laughs> I'm sure they were behind the robbery, unless it was just bandits. There were a couple that my men chased away, but that's all I know. Thank you. We'll get about finding it. Is there anything else? I won't deny that I'm surprised to hear about your engagement to my cousin, despite the excellent reason you put forth. Surely you didn't think your cousin would stay single forever. Know that although the decision was not my own, I'm very pleased about it. I got the impression your uncle thought a wedding might calm your cousin a little. And now that he's in the role of governor, he needs a wife of his standing. My father saw an opportunity to get me away from Peren, where I was in great danger, and found me a worthy husband in the process. But again, it's clear that their main intention was to put an end to years of conflict. Is there anything else? Since we're going to be cousins, I'll have to get to know you better. Well, aren't you just lovely? I'm afraid there isn't much to tell. I was raised like any good princess, educated in both arts and arms. But, as I had several older brothers, I was never really given a political role. I'm still my father's favorite, though. You may know that I've already been married once, but my husband was murdered in cold blood as part of a plot at court. I'm very sorry for your loss. Please accept my deepest condolences. You're too kind. After he died, my father decided it was best to send me away from Peren. He knew your cousin was unmarried and was tired of the futile disputes between our families. So he contacted Prince Dorsey, and the rest is history. Is there anything else? I must be going, Your Grace. But of course. Goodbye, dear cousin. Seems quite questionable. I'm not familiar with the customs of the congregation's great families. But this... I can't believe it either. There is too much rancor between our families. Could the contract she spoke of be forged? Is it even possible? I'm not familiar with the practice. A document can be forged, especially by them. This much is clear. If we find it, it'll need close scrutiny.
If I've understood correctly, the chest was here when it was stolen. Ah, there are footprints which lead away from the camp. other footprints here. They're quite deep, as if the person who made them were carrying a heavy load. We're on the right path. The undergrowth has been crushed. Several people pass through here. Footprints seem less hurried. The thieves must have felt safer here. We must be getting close. this island. We don't see many around here. But I'm convinced they don't eat their prey where they catch it. They would normally take it back to their way. Maybe they were about to do just that when we got here. Let's look around. We'll soon find out. And let's not forget Aurelia's chest. This campfire is strange. The ashes and embers are laid out as they should be but the ground beneath them is untouched. This campfire has not been used. It seems as though it was just laid out as a prop. The poor souls didn't enjoy their loot very long. It looks as though they were attacked as soon as they settled down here. I'm troubled by this fake campfire. It casts a strange light upon this whole affair. We best go back to the camp and return the chest. The Devesp coat of arms. This must be the chest Aurelia asked us to find. Is there any way to open it? We could examine this contract of hers. I can't see a lock, and we'd be hard pressed to explain why we broke it. We'd better bring it back untouched. Wait, look, there seem to be soldiers over there. We should observe them before jumping into their arms. It seems they're Aurelia de Vesp swordsmen. I'm afraid it is now beyond doubt. These men were sent to ambush us. Aurelia sent us to recover that chest solely in order to get rid of us. <sighs> we should teach those assassins and their mistress a lesson. But since we spotted them, if you'd rather avoid trouble.
No matter. That horrible woman sent us to recover her chest in order to get rid of us. She hoped these killers would be the end of us. She deserves Enon Mil Frichtemann's wrath. May he engulf her in lava. What do you intend to do? She'll have to answer for this. But, given the power of her family, we must remain polite. You? I didn't think I'd see you again. So soon. Is that because you'd hoped we'd be clawed to death by those beasts, or because you thought your assassins would get the better of us? Come now, who do you take me for? I was just putting your courage to the test, that's all. A princess's whim. <laughs> I kindly suggest you forget all about this little incident. You see, my dear, we de Vesps have a habit of knowing as much about our enemies as our friends. I'm afraid my father's men have obtained some rather sensitive information, which... Well, if the other governors were to find out, it could very well jeopardize your position, along with that of the Dorsay. If word were to get out about your origin, for example... Are you trying to blackmail me? Oh, what a horrid word! <laughs> Come now, I would never do such a thing. Let's just say that I'm ensuring your loyalty. In fact, some of my men are already at the courts of Hikmet and San Mateus, and ready to act if you try anything. But I'm sure it won't come to that. We'll soon be part of the same family, after all. Here is your chest. This is the one you sent me to fetch. Yes, that's the one. Thank you for your help. You have shown yourself to be as reliable as they say. Long may it continue to be the case. Well, now that I've recovered my precious documents, You'll be able to deliver the wedding contract to your cousin in New Serene. I await the preparations for my arrival and accommodation. Then there'll be plenty of time to prepare the ceremony with my husband-to-be. The arrival of a noble lady such as yourself will require several arrangements. New Serene is a very new city. Yes, I'm sure. Don't dither for too long now. I'm counting on you to be as quick as possible. And to convince your cousin and his men to be reasonable. You know what's at stake. Is there anything else? I must be going, Your Grace. But of course. Goodbye, dear cousin. She has us. We now have the contract, but even if it does turn out to be forged, we have no choice but to bend to her will. Curses. That woman is more vicious than a scorpion fish. Do you have any idea which family secrets she's uncovered? There's no way of knowing without those documents. I can guarantee one thing. The Dorsey family has many secrets, and if they got out... The same can be said of all noble families, of course. In that case, we must find those documents before she uses them. We should go to Hikmet and San Mateus to find the henchmen she sent. You're right. It's the only way to put an end to this alliance and supplant the Viper. Your Excellency, Her Highness... Her Highness, Aurelia de Vesp of the Merchant Congregation has sent me to convey her regards. She would like to assure you of her deepest respect and her unwavering support as an ally with any troubles you may encounter. She also wishes to forewarn you that the person who until now presented himself as the congregation's legate may soon lose his position. Indeed, he is believed to have lied about his lineage and Doubt has now been cast upon his titles of nobility. It is also rumored that he is engaged in questionable dealings involving the guilds and the natives. We sincerely hope that, until this situation has been clarified, you will treat him with the utmost suspicion. Naturally, if these allegations prove to be true, 
A new legate will be appointed by Her Highness immediately. This means His Excellency, the Legate de Sade, is a lying commoner and a crook to boot. If we hadn't already fallen victim to his trickery ourselves, he'd be going up in my estimations. And here he comes. De Sade. We do not like imposters here. I suggest you show yourself out and don't come back, unless you find a way to clear your name of these accusations. We were thrown out like trash. I can't believe that Viper's claptrap got us into this mess. How will we discover where those documents are now? I must admit, it was humiliating. But now, we can give her a taste of our own medicine. I say we follow her, and once we discover her lair, finding those incriminating documents shouldn't be a problem. Here come the Divest Ambassador and her henchmen. Let's hide. We may hear what the documents you seek are hidden. Ambassador? Did your meeting with the Governor go well? The meeting went very well. The Governor was so incensed by what I told him that when the Legate arrived unannounced, he was immediately thrown out. It seems that our representative on the island has not found favour with the other Governors. It was about time our mistress intervened. However, the Legate's presence is problematic. I did not expect him here so soon. Special care must be taken to better hide our documents. If they search the old farm under the cliff, he or his comrades could well find them. Tomorrow morning, we must move them to a safer hiding place. In the meantime, we must rest. As you command, Ambassador. Damn it! It was a trap! Bit of poison on my blade! And let's go! Ah! 
There are some documents, but it's not the evidence Aurelia spoke of. These documents speak of you. It appears that the Devesp sought out information on each of you, hoping to influence you or to drive a wedge between us. Could you read it to me? Oh, I would like to know what a bunch of Renaigze may have found out about me. This is just further proof of their deceit, and the so-called evidence got away again. Let's search these men. We may find something useful. According to this letter, the chest was given to a merchant in town who deals with the Devesps. He was ordered to hand it to the governor if something happens to the delegation. So that's where they put those documents. The merchant learns of their deaths. Hello. Are you Valens? Indeed. Uh, what can I do for your lordship? Are uh, you looking for tools for your workers? I have a large range of tools. Everything you need for mining or timber harvesting. I have no interest in your goods. I have been sent by Her Highness, Aurelia de Vesp. She asked me to recover a chest you have in your keeping. Of course, of course. It's stuffed between my goods in the street just behind us. I hope you tell your mistress that I obeyed her orders. Do not worry. She will be told. Hello. Are you the guard who left me a message at the Embassy? Greetings, Your Excellency. Yes, it was me. I thought you should be warned when I saw those vermin bearing the Devesp livery. This is indeed interesting information. Do you know if they're staying in town? The delegation leader is always at the tavern. He drinks heavily. His men wander around town looking for trouble. Thank you. I imagine you're expecting a reward. No, Your Excellency, keep your money. I'll consider myself highly rewarded if you manage to put a stop to their horrible, manipulative plans. My old battalion was almost completely lost to those vipers. They led us into a trap and left us to rot, so I don't know what you wish to do to them. But I wish you the best success. Hello. I wonder if we might have a word. De Sade. The Dorsey family's henchman. I knew it. I knew I would meet my end by accepting this mission. After what you did to Ambassador Lavoisin in Hikmet. If the Ambassador and her men had not attacked me, they would certainly still be alive. Since you know who I am, you must know why I'm here. Yes. The document chest. But don't think you can scare me into giving it to you. I've been scared to death since I got to this town. Since I got to this island. But I will not betray them. Come. We never wished you harm. We only want to recover some files. They do concern us, after all. Tell us where they are. A huge weight will be lifted off your shoulders. That's true. Does it even matter? 
I don't have the chest anymore. I gave it to a group of inquisitors who don't like you very much. Those fools are so furious that they'd rather die than give you the chest. And Saint Matthias is with them. So, they're hiding out in one of the warehouses around the port. If you really want to confront them, it's your own choice. But you should say a prayer first. So you found us. But don't rejoice too soon. You will not leave this warehouse alive. Come. I'm sure we can work this out. I only want the Divesp chest. Don't count on it. Because of you, our order has been driven off this island and the governor treats us like criminals. We shall avenge our brothers and our order. these posters they weren't here what is this nonsense another divest trick I'll truly stop at nothing these posters could cause a full-scale riot we must stop them from spreading around town It must be because of these posters. This is incredible! Who would have thought that our governor and the legger were involved in sordid affairs? It's obviously a lie! How could you believe that kind of poster? You're all so... Greetings, madam. Did you happen to see, by any chance, who stuck up these posters? Oh, you are the famous legger these posters speak of. You would never tell me if it were all true. Anyway, if you want revenge against the woman who stuck him up, you're too late. The guards caught her in the act, and when they saw what was written on the posters, they took her to the barracks. She must be rotting away in jail now. Thank you. And you shouldn't believe those lies. As if you could say anything else. Hello. I'm the bastard murderer from your posters. Oh, Your Excellency. Uh, I'm not responsible for the content of those posters. I had no choice but to stick them up. In a sense, the guard's arrest protected me, but my partner is under lock and key and guarded by armed men who bear the divest livery. They are responsible. They forced me to stick these posters up all around town. They threatened to kill my partner. If you don't stop them, they will kill him. I beg you, free him. I believe you. 
and I will free your friend if I can. Do you know where the other posters are? I must destroy this nonsense before it creates a riot. No, they only gave me one stack of them. They certainly have more, but I don't know where they're hiding the rest. The men who are holding him must know. Very well. I have no other choice but to free him. Where is he being held? Behind the barracks, along the docks. Please, hurry! Thank you for freeing me from those murderous clutches. Do you know where my friend is? She went to stick up those horrible posters. She sent me to rescue you. She was imprisoned, but she'll probably get out soon. The presence of these men will prove that she had no intention of causing an insurrection. Oh, you've taken a great weight off my shoulders. I was worried she'd been killed. They were such brutes. I must destroy the rest of those posters. Do you have any idea where those men could have hidden them? Well, they spoke of having a reserve just outside of town. In a small hut, if my memory serves me well. You should go and check. Thank you. And try to avoid the Devesps in the future. They're dangerous. Sade, you seem somewhat gloomy. What's troubling you? As you may have heard, the Devesp family has sent a delegation to the island. It's led by the prince's daughter herself. Ah, most curious. And very worrying indeed. But you didn't come all this way in person just to bring me the bad news, I take it? You've read my mind. Knowledge is power. I need all the information you've got. I recovered some documents that Aurelia intended to use against us. I also brought you the wedding contract. Let me see. Hmm. <laughs> yes. A skillful blend of truths and untruths, as is to be expected. I'm afraid, however, this letter from Julia Dorsey, Constantine's mother, is genuine. But your cousin is not to blame for his mother's folly. It caused him more harm than good. And he was but a child when his brother was killed. But the implication that he's not the prince's son 
is absurd. You know them both, and you know how much Constantine looks like his father. As for these documents about your mother, poor Livy would never have deceived your father. And furthermore... <sighs> it's all right, I know. I'm a native of Tirfredi. My real mother was a Danaeg out of the Seaside Nemeus clan. So in a way, all this is both true and completely false. I'm not General de Sade's son, and my mother never deceived him. I wasn't aware you knew. It's true you were adopted, and though the adoption was somewhat irregular, in any case, I doubt that this information could truly be used against you. The revelations about Constantine are more cause for concern. But since you recovered the evidence, we needn't worry about it being used against us. Providing it's the only copy, of course. I believe so. What do you make of the marriage contract? Is it genuine? Well, the writing is that of a court clerk. But their handwriting all looks the same. It would be difficult to tell if it was truly written by your uncle. As for the seal... Well, I'm almost certain that it is a forgery, but an excellent one at that. That being said, without the seal itself, you'd be hard-pressed to prove it. If we denounce this contract without evidence, everyone will say that it's just an excuse to get out of the wedding. In that case, I need to find that seal. Let's hope Aurelia de Vesp has brought it with her. I'd wager she did. She may want to use it again, if you want to find it. You'll have to get her away from her camp to have a good chance to search her belongings. As I'm supposed to be organizing the princess's arrival, Lady Morange can surely help by sending for her. Thank you, sir. Was there anything else you wish to ask? By the look on your face, you've already experienced the Devesp's deceit firsthand. Indeed. Aurelia tried to blackmail us. I had to recover evidence she gathered against my cousin and myself. And stop a riot in town she caused by sticking up posters which mocked us. And which depicted you as the heroine. And I can assure you I'm not responsible. I don't doubt it, madam. However, Sir de Corsillon told me that the seal used on the wedding contract was fake but that we needed the fake seal itself to prove it and put an end to this sham. So you would like me to get Aurelia de Vesp away from her quarters so you can search them at your leisure? That's the general idea. She did ask us to organize her arrival. Your message shouldn't surprise her. Don't worry, I know exactly what I'm going to write. The young de Vesp may be talented, but I have years more experience. Oh. If I may offer some advice, you should question the Norts who brought her here. They must have gleaned some information on our charming princess on such a long journey in close quarters. Admiral Cabral should know where they are. You should go and see her. Do you have any other questions? Goodbye, Lady Morange. Goodbye, Your Excellency. Be careful. Don't underestimate the trickery of the Divesps. Desarde, what can I do for you? Greetings, Admiral. I came to see you as I seek information about Aurelia de Vesp and her entourage. Since they landed on this island, they haven't ceased their efforts to undermine our city and our diplomatic position. And since they traveled on your ships for several months, I thought you and your men would surely have things to say about them. We don't make a habit of revealing information about our passengers, but I'm willing to make an exception this time. Since we got here, Part of our ship's crew, those who were in contact with the Devesps, haven't been heard from. The rest of the crew, the ones who steered the ship, are here. They're worried, and fear the worst for their comrades. I would be very grateful if you inquired of their whereabouts. 
If you find them alive, I will not object to them telling you everything they know. <laughs> Quite the opposite. One thing is certain. The Devests will never set another foot on one of our ships. Rest assured, I'll do my best to find them. Goodbye, Admiral. Goodbye, Desarde. And be careful. I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. We need help! Help! <sighs> Thank you. Thank you immensely for having freed us. Had we stayed here, those lunatics would have killed us. They already killed one of the men by giving him some kind of potion. Yes, Aurelia de Vesp came with a smile on her face and poisoned one of our men to test the effects of a plan. That's what she said. We must go through Aurelia's things. We need to prove that the wedding contract was forged to stop her from causing harm. Did you see or hear anything which could help me while you traveled here with Aurelia de Vesp? That woman is very secretive. She isn't the kind of person who speaks of her plans in front of those she treats as servants. I served her in her cabin. Every time I came in, she slipped the documents she was reading or writing in special chests. However, one day I heard her talking to one of her followers. She told him that with all the information they had gathered, they would easily take over the island. She clearly spoke of bringing the other governors to their knees with the information she had against them. She wants to blackmail them. She probably kept us locked up here because she knew that we had heard her plans. That's undoubtedly true. Thank you for this information. Do you know how to get back to the Admiral now that you're free? Yes. Don't worry. We'll soon be back on our ship. Thanks to you. Goodbye, Your Excellency. Be careful.
In any case, thanks to this seal, we can prove that the contract was forged. And we can send Mr. Vesp back to the continent. That may be so. But after seeing what was written in that journal, I'm worried about Lady Morange. We should try to find an antidote. The Donegada in this region should be able to help us. They must know about all the plants. Oi, Onol Manawi. Hello. Bur Tirtumat. Oim Vad from the Beraignodas clan. I need to speak to you. Bur Tirtumat, Donegada. Bur Tirtumat, Siora. I hope your friend will be able to help us. I've heard people talking about you in the village, and Duncas respects you, so I'm sure you'll understand. What is it? This land has been sacred for generations. And only the Donegada of our clan can come to calm the anger of Enon Melfrichtiman. This is where he spilled the burning blood of the land to destroy our enemies. The sun trembled and the sky was black for days. It is madness to come back here, especially for Renaixe. You must leave and take all the other Renaixe with you. Do not fret. I intend to ensure that they don't stay long. Neither here nor on this island, for that matter. I hope so, Honor Manawi. Because we can already feel the anger rising up to Credenus. And many would die if it spread. And these Renaik say don't understand anything. They're multiplying like flies. No sooner had the ones in black arrived from the sea, than others came from the woods to surround them. And now, here you are. I promise that these lands will soon find their peace. Do you have anything else to ask us? Yes, I actually need your help. I'm sure you know all about the plants in this region. Do you know of any that are poisonous? The leader of those who came here plans to poison one of my friends. It's true that the leader left the camp at one point. She stayed in the woods for a while. If it was poisonous plants she was after, I'm sure she would have collected sedek leaves at this time of year. It's a slow but horrible poison, which causes a great deal of suffering. But the antidote can be found in some roots that we know well. You're in luck. We have a small bottle. Anyone who drinks it quickly after being poisoned will survive. Thank you. I'm infinitely grateful. Do you have anything else to ask us? Thanks again for your help. Goodbye. And don't forget, those Renaixe need to leave. Thank you. Thank you for saving me. I never imagined the Defespes would go so far. She tried to poison me. Don't mention it. The Donegada of the Duncas clan should also be thanked, my lady. They gave us the antidote. May they be blessed. I'll send them a present to thank them. But you should go straight to the palace. Aurelia de Vesp was headed there. I'm afraid she may try to take over by force. I'll go there right away. Get well soon, my lady.
Aurelia de Vesp. On behalf of Governor Constantine Dorsey, you are under arrest. Oh, really? Hardly surprising. Typical of the Dorsey family's underhanded methods. On what grounds, might I ask? Firstly, for fraud and forgery. The wedding contract you gave us is fake. <laughs> your lies are as dismal as they are desperate. The contract bears the seals of both my father and your prince. Is he trying to back out? Or has his idiot son simply decided to disobey him? Neither. The Dorsey seal upon this contract is forged, and I can prove it. Here. This is what was used to seal the contract. A cleverly made counterfeit we found in your camp. <laughs> that seal proves nothing. You probably made it yourself to undermine me. That contract could not be more authentic. The same, however, cannot be said of your noble lineage. The second charge made against you is the attempted murder of Lady Morange. Are you also going to deny that your men attacked her? This is a very serious accusation. I assure you that I had no knowledge of any attack on the former governor. And if an attack did indeed take place, I am certainly not the one responsible. Is that so? Then why does this journal, written in your handwriting, say that you wish to rid your city of all Dorsey sympathizers? And that you'd found the perfect poison to do the deed in the forest surrounding your camp? Thankfully for Lady Morange, the Donegada living in the region gave us an antidote. A journal only conveys thoughts, not facts. Don't tell me you've never wished for someone's death without actually acting on those thoughts. And more to the point, who's to say that journal's genuine in the first place? Your so-called evidence, Mr. Desade, is but lie after lie. Lastly, you are accused of having sequestered and murdered the noughts who brought you to this island. Another baseless accusation. I don't know how you could possibly prove my involvement. As it happens, we freed the survivors, and they are very willing to testify against you. For all the charges set against you, you are under arrest. <sighs> the Malachor upon you, Desade. I greatly underestimated you. How wrong I was. I should have courted you and made you my ally. Together, we would have been unstoppable. Very well. What are you going to do with me? You'll be imprisoned here while we wait for the Congregation Council's ruling. Go on. Lock her up. The De Vesps would have tried to impose themselves to the bitter end. It's fantastic that you gathered all this evidence. We won't have a ruling from the Council for months. Years, even. But I'm sure the De Vesps will pay a heavy price for Aurelia's folly, and the D'Orsay family will emerge greater than ever. Anyway, you should destroy the documents you found. Nobody else should ever get hold of them. You're right. I'm going to burn them all right now, just to be on the safe side. Goodbye, sir. Thank you for your help. I merely gave you guidance. That is my role. See you later. Siora, Asir, always with your new friends. Bertir to Madiseld, I'm happy to see you. What do you want? I'm only here to accompany Siora. I came to give our mother back to the earth, Iseld. It is high time we did, I know. Performing the ritual might help me feel less empty. Iseld, I miss her too. Did you go to Vasrigan? No. Preparing the place is the role of the Donegada. I was afraid I would not do things properly. Normally, you would hear the birds singing in this place. What do you mean? Oh, no. We cannot leave them here. Ah! Ask for the burial mound. We 
I do not understand what they are doing in this area. We never see any other thing. They must have missed it in the shadow of the burial mound. In that case, we have no choice but to destroy their nests. Otherwise, they'll just keep coming back. You are right. We cannot let these people grow so close to my mother for the names. Let's see if you want to cast more spells. Let's see if you can walk on this thing. I can't do that. I can't do that. Take a potion if you want to cast more spells. Your armor will know. These beasts will no longer trouble the peace of our queen. All we have to do now is to take care of this ceremony. Is there anything else to prepare? Of course. We will need some sensors crafted especially for the ritual. Where can we find them? It would be ideal if we could craft them ourselves, but otherwise the village artisan probably sells them. And I will also need some mortuary lotion. I will have to coat my mother's body with it before giving her back to the earth. I will give you a list of all the ingredients because we will have to prepare it ourselves. The merchants won't sell it. Once we have gathered these last items, then Iseld and I will be able to perform the ritual. I thank you for being by my side and helping me the way you are. It... it means a lot to me. Don't mention it, Siora. We have all that we need. Let's go back to the burial mound to put everything in place. Here we are. It is on this stone altar that we will place the body of my mother. We must place a sensor where her head will be, and another near her feet. And then, you will have done everything you could to help me. And I am infinitely grateful for it. Your presence by my side means a lot to me. But only my sister and I can participate in the ceremony. This is how our ritual of the dead is performed. Do you understand? Carantz, I'm glad we managed to save Lady Morange. Considering she's a Renaigze, she's rather wise, and at least she does not despise us. But I can't understand why you decided to simply lock this Aurelia up. She should have been sentenced to death for having betrayed her people. <sighs> but your politics on the continent are very complicated. Anything else?
I must leave you. See you later. There. Everything is in place. Thanks again, Honor Manawi. My sister should be joining me soon. You should wait outside. Oh, these rituals are demanding. But they help us to say goodbye to those we love. You have been a true friend. A Karantz, accepting to help me the way you did. Thank you. I will never forget the kindness you displayed. Conforming to our customs and staying by my side. It's only natural, Siora. I know what it feels like to lose someone who is dear to you. We should go now. It is time to return to the living. Ah, Onal Manawi. I heard you met Vad and some other members of my clan in the area around Edagol Kredal. Anyone who treads that sacred land runs the risk of unleashing N on Mil Frichtemann's wrath. You'd better steer clear of the area. Yes. Your Donegada warned us. When you see Vad, give him my thanks. If it weren't for him, one of my friends would probably be dead. Poisoned. That is the task of the Donegada. Helping others when they are in need. I'm glad he could help. I seek Vinbar, your High King. I was told you were among the last to have seen him. I do not know if that is true. Others most certainly cross this path after me. But since you have helped our island, it is only right that I help you in return. The last time I saw him, we were in Dorhat Genedu. He wanted us to help him decide what we should do about you. You, the Renaikse. Dedra and Bladnid wanted us to spill blood and chase you from our land. Ulan's words were all honey, as is his talent, and wanted us to welcome you with open arms. I attempted, as is my wont, to follow the part of wisdom, that which winds between the others. Vinbar was not convinced by any of us. He decided to turn to a far greater source of wisdom. He left us to go to the sanctuary to see Anonymil Frichtimen. Would he still be there? I do not think so. The great mind must have guided his footsteps in a direction beyond our understanding. But he would not have abandoned his people without first seeing his own one last time. You should go to Wen Shavar. Maybe there they would know where you could find him. Thank you, Dunkas. Birt Tiltomad on Almanawi. Esquetu. Hello. I'm sorry, but I do not speak your language. Really? Then you are a Renaigze. I have never met one with the bond. Might I do something for you? I am looking to find Vinbar, the High King of Tirfredi, and I was told that he was born in this village. He disappeared after visiting the heart of the island, but I was hoping someone here might know where he's hiding. You should speak with Sarah. She is the companion of our king. Where might I find her? I do not know. She left the village and I have not seen her in several days. Anything else? Goodbye. What hour am I Good. 
dear Tumad, it is rare to see Renaixe here. Is there something I can do for you? I'm looking for High King Vinbar. I know that he disappeared after having visited the heart of the island. But someone here, in this village, might know where he went after that. If anyone knows, it would be Sarah. But you will not find her here. Anything else? Would you know where I could find Sarah? She left to follow Vimbar. She wanted the mountains to take her as well. What do you mean? I don't know if Renaixe could understand. Our High King is on Olmenawi, and the Donegad. His bond with the mountain is very strong. Even stronger now that he speaks with the En Olmil Frichtimen. Seda knew that the mountain would take him back, and she wanted the mountain to take her as well. She went to attempt to bond herself to it. She sought the cavern of knowledge. We haven't seen her since. She might have succeeded. Anything else? Where is this cavern of knowledge located? We don't know. The caverns of knowledge are the concern of the Donegada. Anything else? Thank you for your help. Gwaaulamsek. Dear Tumad. Might I do something for you? I heard talk about a cavern of knowledge. It is a place where the Donegada go. Within the earth, they hear the voices of those that went before them. And they learn. There are some on Tiafradi. The closest to our village is found to the northeast of here. But the entrance is sealed, hidden. It is a sacred place. A place for only the Donegada. Anything else? Goodbye. What I want to Speak, savage. What stops your tongue? You think someone's coming to save you? Give in. Your life is in our hands. It is time to tell us all you know. We should be discreet if we want to eavesdrop on this people. She's been enduring this punishment for hours, blow upon blow through gritted teeth. Truly savage beast we have here. Do we even know if it speaks our language? Leave us! You will eventually tell us how you found your way into that grotto. Your defiance is only prolonging the inevitable. You remind me of that rat my master was studying. The creature used all of its fire in an effort to escape. 
Scratching, twisting, refusing to understand that the cage holding it was its only remaining world. It had everything it could ever need, but it wouldn't stop looking for a way out. Even though its fate was now sealed to serve science, its animal instinct drove it to flee. It had strangled itself between the bars of its own cage in a final futile attempt to escape. It was an enormous beast, and very clever. If it had simply relented, it could have lived peacefully for many years. Instead of that... These monsters are torturing her. Come, we must set her free. We can't wait until nightfall. But I recognize this face, Lord Dasade. What a pleasure to see you again. What good wind brings you? These people are monsters. They just tortured a woman, and then they say hello as if it were nothing. I'm sure that they will explain what pushes them to treat her this way. Believe me, we would never have reached such extremities if she had told us what we wanted. You see, we have been studying these beings that show, like you, such strange markings on their bodies. We call them metamorphs but the natives call them Onol Manawi. And we seek to learn through what process they metamorphosize. We heard talk of a cavern of knowledge. The savages hide all of their knowledge within them, and certainly all the secrets that interest us. We discovered one here, but are unable to enter. This woman, she knows how to enter, but as you have witnessed, she refuses to tell us how. To know we are so close to understanding such a fascinating phenomenon, and to be able to do nothing. Let's just say it has made us... aggressive. It's extremely regrettable. Free her. We would like to have a word with her. She won't tell you anything. Let us handle this. She will give in at some point. Have you already forgotten all that you owe me? Without me, you would all be locked away in Duren's jails, or likely even dead. I took you for sages and doctors, but you are nothing more than a gang of skin flayers. You have made me regret my actions. It is true that we indeed owe you our lives, but... all this knowledge... ripe for the picking. No knowledge justifies treating anyone this way. Oh, free her now! We shall leave. Nothing more holds us here. How are you feeling? Better now. Those Renaikse are absolute monsters. But who are you? You too are a Renaikse. Why have you freed me? We were told at Wenshavar that you and you alone could tell us where to find High King Vinbar. I wish I knew where he was right now. He bid me farewell weeks ago, and he has not returned. I waited a long time, and then I came here. To enter into the Cavern of Knowledge. You believe this is where he's hiding? No. But he came here often before he disappeared. I'm hoping to find answers. You save me. And so I must help you as well. You may come with me. The Cave of Knowledge is a bit further north.
Here is the entrance to the Cavern of Knowledge. I hope that Vinbar has left a clue to where he went. Something I could track. Is it your wish to join him? He is my Manundanem. That means the one who shares my mind in your language. We must be reunited. I understand. But why protect the entrance to the cavern at the risk of your own life? The caverns of knowledge are truly sacred places. Only the Donegada have the right to enter. But you're not a Donegad. Is that right? I am not. But I must enter in spite of everything. And since you have helped me, you may enter as well. Even if I am not sure I can trust you. Because you spared these people. Remind yourself that this honor is immense and show respect. I implore you. Put your fears to rest. We have not come to defile this sacred place. How do we enter? Allow me. I have seen Vinbar make these movements so many times. This fresco is still fresh. It must have been painted recently. It's of a crowned man. Vinbar, no doubt. It looks as if he's walking through the skies towards the volcano. A face has been painted on the volcano. The spirit of the mountain. My heart did not betray me. Vinbar has readied himself to join Enon Milfrichtemen. Was that why you came in here? To confirm that supposition? To understand, yes. As the years passed, my Minundanem grew more and more distant to me. I thought at first it was due to his status and the invasion of the Renaikse. But now I see that he was hearing the call of Enon Milfrichtemen. He had no choice but to answer it. Oh, Vinbar, why did you not share this with me? These paintings are older. This looks like it represents a man who transforms himself into some kind of enormous bird. He is a Danegad, becoming a Nadaig Manaman. Vinba was also bound to the mountain. It is no doubt the path he has chosen to follow. If I understand correctly, the Danegad are metamorphed differently according to the place they are bound. Yes. The Sinolmenawi bind them to a specific place, and in return they become the Guardians. But how could a Guardian of the Plains resemble a Guardian of the Mountains? Do you believe that Vinbar is readying himself to undergo this transformation? I thought it was a very slow process. For some, it takes years. At least this is what is said. For others, it might take place the very moment where the Donegad surrenders to Enol Milfrichtemen. I hope only to have the time to bid him farewell. Given how well hidden the seed was, it must open an important passage. All we have to do is find out which. This mural is also ancient. It seems to show a doorway into the mountain. This door appears to be in front of a circle of stone. There are two altars and two seats. The Donegada seal certain sacred places with root doors. Yes, I've run into similar barriers. It's all a matter of finding the right seed. But here, there are two that seem to be different. For one, the flower motifs seem to indicate which plant is required. This is possible. 
The caverns of knowledge are used to initiate and transmit the knowledge of the Dene Gada. This painting must teach the younger how to reach the sacred place where they will bind themselves. In that case, shouldn't there be an illustration of the second plant? The initiates also learn by listening to their masters. On this one, we see a sacred site with raised stones. And behind the face of the volcano, we also see the path that leads there. Like some sort of schematic. This must certainly be the path the young apprentices must walk. And the Doné Gada that are prepared to surrender themselves to Enol Mil Frichtimen. Do you recognize the place where the entrance can be found? I think so. It looks like the grotto that lies to the northwest of our village. With all that we've learned from studying these paintings, we should be able to find Vinbar. I just hope there's still enough of him left to answer us. What do you hope to ask of him? We hope that he will agree to take us into the sanctuary of Dorhad Genedu. What do you hope to ask of him? Why would the Renaik say? It matter not. My head spins. I will wait for you outside. Please, go ahead. We will join you shortly. That woman left in a bit of a hurry, don't you think? Sarah is upset, and I don't think that she trusts us. We should hurry and catch up to her. This door is locked. Sarah has put us in a very tricky situation. She didn't want us to find Come, these caves often have several exits.
position on my base. And let's go! This is the place which was depicted on the mural in the Cave of Knowledge. In fact... Finally, we've made it to high ground. Now, let's find this trail to the sanctuary. It can't be far from here. Bloodied feathers. I've seen some big birds in my days at sea, but none had feathers this size. Looks like Vinbar must have begun his transformation. He will soon become a guardian of the mountains. These giant feathers. 
We're on the right trail. Over there, more feathers. More of these giant feathers. We're on the right trail. We found the entrance to the sanctuary. Vinbar must be here. I hope he'll agree to help us enter the heart of the mountain. All that remains is to find a way to get in. This must be the entrance to Vinbar's sanctuary. But it's obstructed. He knows how to protect his home. A stone altar. It resembles the one that protects the passage to Mev's sanctuary. This must be where I need to place the seed. And here is another altar. Are two seeds necessary to open the passage? How can we learn which plant seed is required? You don't just reveal the secret to your hideout, unless it were to the person you loved. You're right. We need to find this Sarah. The seed that I have is not enough. I need to find Sarah. She might be able to help. Let's return to the village. This is the camp that Constantine's escort must have established. I hope that Omegad and your cousin survived the fight. Search the zone. Let's see if we can find any clues as to what's happened here. This area has been trampled. An entire stampede passed by here. Our soldiers must have fled the zone and taken this path followed by their assailants. This is a sacred place of a native cult. No doubt this is where Katasak and Constantine were going. A place of a cult. Uh, but rather a place of... anchoring. A place where Donegada perform a ritual to become Sinol Menawi. These places are charged with great energy. Perhaps. Katasak wanted to use it to bring relief to your cousin. Perhaps. There are bodies, and without a doubt there was fighting here. Search the place. Let's see what we are able to find. This blade is a native ritual knife, and this bowl contained a potion. Someone wanted to perform a ritual here. Could Katasak have found a better means to alleviate Constantine's symptoms? The corpses of both men and beasts. These soldiers fought dearly until the end. Neither Constantine nor Katasak are among them. A crater, without a doubt caused by an explosive potion. The soldiers might have been carrying them. They must have been desperate to have taken such drastic measures. Constantine and Katasach must have been visiting this place. Perhaps performing some sort of healing ritual. When the attack took place, the soldiers intervened, and many fell during the fight. But a group was able to escape down this path. We need to continue following their tracks.
More tracks. Footprints. They must have fled this way. Strange. These trees look half calcinated, as if they were exposed to immense heat. These weapons are in terrible condition. Whatever did these men come up against? Another bone tree. This path seems to have been scorched in flames. More signs of an explosion. I can't believe that our soldiers could be carrying so many explosive potions. New footprints. It looks as if a group met up with them and took this path. There was more fighting over here. There are not only the corpses of our own men, but where could these other soldiers have come from? more signs of explosions. But what were they doing with all these explosives on them? Only a handful made it up to here. The path stops on this overhang, and despite signs of a skirmish, I can't see any sign of Constantine or Cats. These vials look familiar. Katasach used the very same to stock his potions. He must have come here. I'm going to pick them up. And these rocks were broken, as if they had taken cannon fire. What could have happened here? I don't recognize these men. Still more unknown soldiers. Could they have been responsible for the attack? This one is carrying a letter. Let's see. According to this note, these men came from a nearby camp, an old outpost of the Alliance taken over by the Coin Guard. They could well have decided to finish what they'd planned in Userine. I recognize this sack. It's my cousin's. Oh, Constantine, what have you gotten yourself into again? Very well, let's sum things up. Constantine and Katasach definitely came through here to perform some sort of ritual, but they were attacked. An attack obviously involving wild animals. And then there are these traces of inexplicable flames. Could it be magic? You cannot suspect my people are behind this attack. You have strayed far from the path. No one would have attacked Katasach. Unless he himself was behind it. He is a powerful Donegad. The beasts obey him. How could you even think something like that? He is a healer. He brought comfort to your cousin. Perhaps he only did it to gain our trust. With Constantine captive, he now has leverage to apply to the colonists and force them to accept his conditions. But in all truth, I have no idea what to think. But regardless of who is guilty, I must find my cousin. We could return to Wen Xavier to learn more. Perhaps Katasak returned there. Or maybe his Voglundai could tell us where to find him. We are also going to have to visit the outpost. Their soldiers were involved in the combat, or at least the end of it. They must have some stories for us. That trail seems a better one to follow. Katasak is a good man, but the soldiers and the lions have already betrayed you. That's true. 
but I do not see how they could have made these animals obey them. However, one way or another, Constantine is in danger. Let us be on our way without further delay. Colonials? You must have gotten lost to have come this far from nowhere. To whom do I owe the honor? Disarde. I am legate of the Congregation of Merchants on this island. A legate? Here? Pardon my dismay, but we don't get many uh, official sorts around here. I am Captain Idris of the Coin Guard. I am the ranking officer in charge of this outpost. What can I do for you, sir? I'm looking for Constantin Dorsey, the island governor of the Congregation of Merchants. A governor? Here? Whatever would he be doing in this rattle? My cousin was part of an expedition in this region. His men and his camp were attacked. They nearly all died. But we found no trace of his body, which has us hoping that he may still be alive. Wounded and holding up somewhere, or even captured. Have you cast your suspicions in our direction? I hope this is a joke. We've had neither reinforcements nor supplies for weeks. In my book, we've been totally forgotten. I wouldn't risk the few lives remaining to attack a governor's camp. I'm not crazy. I'm truly sorry for your cousin, Excellency, but we haven't seen him. And we definitely haven't kidnapped him. The region is dangerous. The natives are heartless. You should be looking in their direction. You do know that we found the bodies of several men from the garrison up there, don't you? How could you be sure? One of them was carrying a note, signed by your hand. And they are dead. I had hoped they'd have survived and would eventually return. Explain yourself, Captain. What were your men doing on the clifftop? They were monitoring the zone. They were to warn us of any troop movements. We have lost too many men to surprise attacks. We decided to take initiative and be ready. Yesterday, we heard screams and saw some strange lights up there. But I was hoping... And you didn't go and see for yourself? You hear screams, certainly those of your own men, and you don't do anything. So the last of my men give up their lives for nothing as well. You can think of me as a coward if you like. But me, I'm taking no more unnecessary risks. Why do I have the feeling that you're holding something back from me? I can see how difficult your present situation has become. I'm certain you haven't been paid either for quite some time. I cannot solve all of your problems. But what would you say if I took care of that one, at least? A little gold would certainly improve the morale of my men. <sighs> One of the men I posted there returned during the night. A survivor? Excellent. Did he tell you what happened? He wasn't able to say a word. He collapsed unconscious two steps past the doorway. Our nurse sits with him, but... There is little hope that he will come back to himself. His wounds are extremely serious. He's just refusing to die. I'm sorry to hear that, Captain. Perhaps we could do something for him. Go and see the nurse. Perhaps you can do something to help the poor boy. I can't take it anymore. To lose another man. Anything else? I need to be going. I would very much like to do the same. Safe journey, Your Excellency. doing there? This is an infirmary! I know. I've come to see the wounded soldier. The captain told me you might need my help. That is very kind of him. But alas, it's a little late. What are you saying? Is the soldier... No, he still lives. But I've been asking the captain for weeks to escort me on a mission to replenish my stocks. I no longer have a single remedy. And now that we have a wounded patient, I can only wipe water on his brow and hope. 
Do you know what type of remedy would allow him to survive? Yes, at least I think so. It's a known potion that heals burns. I see. Give me the recipe. We'll go and see that it's prepared for you. <sighs> Thank you. Because of you, this poor boy might be able to survive his wounds. Were you able to concoct the potion against burns? Yes, I was. Might we administer it? Give it to me. I'll take care of this. There. We must wait and be patient now. Will he make it? I hope so. We'll know soon enough. This potion is extremely potent. And if he survives, when could we speak to him? Come back tomorrow at the same time. We'll know more then. Very well. I'll come back tomorrow. See you soon. And thank you again for your help. Hello, soldier. How are you doing? Better. A lot better. Are you the one who saved me? The nurse told me. I simply prepared the potion that she told me how to make. Nothing more. Could you tell me what happened during the attack? I will try. They're not really memories I'm fond to bring back. A lot of my friends died up there. We were posted up on the peak to follow rebel movement. It had been a couple of days when we heard sounds of fighting not far from our position. Men were screaming in our own language. So we went to see what was happening. Soldiers of the coin guard and an islander were trying to protect a young man. He, he seemed dire ill. Constantine Katasak and his escort. Who were they fighting against? Dozens of wild animals. They seemed completely enraged and intent on devouring them. And there were flames. Flames? Where were they coming from? I don't know. My friends and all the soldiers fell one after the other. I didn't see everything. All was blood and confusion with beasts and fire. But I thought I saw another islander. Big. He's the one who took the sickened man. There was practically no one left on the battlefield. I was wounded and I passed out. I came to when I heard voices of islanders approaching them. Rebels, I thought to myself, they're coming to finish off the wounded. I got up, 
with difficulty and fled. I dragged myself here. And you know the rest. I'm going to have to go and find these rebels. You shouldn't do that. They killed all of my friends. You take a great risk. That's enough. Rest now. You're still far from having recovered. Yes, it's best I leave now. I've learned enough. I'll have a word with your captain. Goodbye. Excellency, I was told that you saved my soldier. Thank you. You can't imagine what this means to us. Please. I did nothing more than follow the instructions your nurse gave me. Did you learn what you needed to learn? Yes. I was able to question your man and he told me what he saw. He and his company heard sounds of the attack and they went to investigate. My cousin's escort were already nearly annihilated by animals that jumped out from all sides. A strange sorcerer controlled them. It was he that took my cousin. One of those rebel savages, no doubt. I knew that they'd be behind all of this. They must have learned that an important man was in the region and thought he would make the perfect hostage. <sighs> I'm sorry. I would give you some men, but... Don't apologize. I know where the camp can be found, and if my cousin is there, I will free him. Like you freed the scholars. You're a good man, Excellency. Thank you again for saving my soldier. I need to be going. I would very much like to do the same. Safe journey, Your Excellency. Hello. Renaigse, there you are again. What do you want? to speak to you about my cousin's capture and the massacre of his escort. A soldier from the nearby outpost survived and told us that you were present on the battlefield. I know that you see us as your enemies, but we are not here to harm you. I only seek to find the man I consider to be my brother, as well as the man who is protecting him. Katisach, one of your greatest Donegada. No Donea Exregal would attack Katisach. If you didn't attack him, you must know what happened to them. I was told that an islander took my cousin away. Perhaps your men were there to aid them. We do not have your cousin, and we do not know what happened to him. As for Katasach, and Avorscht, Tire, he died from his wounds. That night, we heard the sounds of a terrible combat. The ground shook all the way to our homes. We went to sea. But we arrived too late. The last breath of Katasach had returned to the wind when we arrived there. And many of the Renaigse were dead. We could do no more. We carried the body of the Donegad and brought it here. He gave his life to protect Constantine. May he rest in peace. This request might surprise you, but we would like to see him. Why? What do you want to do with him, Renaixe? Examine him to understand what killed him. We were told that an island native was there and that he likely led the attack. No Donea Exregal would attack Katasach. You have been lied to, or they were mistaken. That is the very reason I need to see his body. To understand. You may see him. But if you desecrate his body, you will pay for this offense with your life. Katasach, seeing the state of his body, I hate my 
myself for having suspected him. Forgive me, Denegad, to have doubted your loyalty and even more for what we are about to do. Now then, let's see what story this corpse has to tell. The corpse retains the marks of a bludgeoning. There are large bruises all over it. I can see no wounds that could be attributed to a blade or a musket shot. The major wound is found on the chest, which was crushed by something tremendous, to the degree that the skin was torn. The ribs are in pieces and the organs punctured. The edges of the wound are singed and smell of burnt flesh. There is a powdery spot on this wound, as if from ash or dusty gravel. Katasakh bore the brunt of this attack or incredible force. I would venture to say it was inhuman. I can only imagine one thing that could have inflicted such a wound. It's as if an enormous burning stone hit him right in the center of the chest. And seeing as how the bodies of the soldiers we found were sporting wounds of a similar nature, we can deduce that we're on the tracks of a man or a creature capable of using molten rock as a weapon. I can't imagine an Adaig behaving like this. It is not their way. That they might attack careless hunters or warriors, true, but to attack Katasach. The power to call volcano fires could only be that of a guardian. No simple man wields mountain fire. We still don't really know who is actually behind this attack, nor what they want. Judging by the severity of these wounds, I fear the worst for Constantine. All your experiments. You've learned so little. You've learned to fear. Your instincts should have been enough. We had to at least try. Are you not even concerned or angered by what happened to Katasach? We've grown accustomed to the loss of lives, your relentless attacks and incessant treacheries. All the same, there is truth in your words. This attack is out of place. Guardian and Donegad would never attack one another. There is a ritual that might help us. Anatalas Fair. The Anatalas Fair? What is it? Tell me more. It is a magical rite that only a person with a powerful bond to both spirits and nature can perform. It allows the Donegad who chants it to relive the last moments of an Onol Manawi. That would allow us to at least see the face of his assassin. If what I have heard is true, yes. To my knowledge, only one Donegad still living knows the ritual. Let's ask her for her help then. She might be able to tell us what has become of Constantine. You are quick to ask another to put her mind in danger for your own concerns. Imagine the pain of the wounds of another, shaking your body as the cold of death crushes your beating heart. This is what you must ask of the Tiernahach. It is the price she must pay for performing the ritual. When her companion was lost in battle, fighting against your own, she wanted to live that death beside her. Since that day, our Tierna Hachadachtas has never breathed air with the same breath. That would explain her distrust of the Colonials. You must make her see your purpose. It may be the only way you are going to learn the fate of your cousin. Hello, Mev. Renoixe, why have you come here again? I've come to ask you for help. My help? You still seek the remedy for the sickness on your island? Or are you looking for something else? My cousin has been taken, and I've been told that you could help me. Truly? And in what way? By performing the Anatalis Fair on the body of Katasach, the Donegad. Katasach is dead. Under Vosdere. This is a great tragedy. He was a good man. Perhaps the best of us all. How did this happen? He went with my cousin to a sacred site when they were attacked. 
My cousin has disappeared, taken, according to a witness, and Katasak suffered terrible wounds. We examined him, and it seemed as if he had been struck by molten rock. Fire of the earth. Only the Nadaig Manaemen have the power to wield it, but none of our own would have attacked Katasak. This is why we need your help. We want to understand and to find who's responsible. And you will avenge the dead as you have avenged my wound in the past. Very well, Renoixi. I will help you. And I also wish to gain understanding. Our island wails in suffering. Many Sinolmenawi have died. The Anatalas fair may kill me, but at least I will know. You will need to act as my Voglendike, and bring to me the necessary ingredients while I prepare. What do you require? A potion. And listen and remember, or write in your language what I shall tell you. Do not forget, the viscera of the scavengers must be taken from a place near the battlefield, because they contain the flesh of those who fell. As for the personal object of Katasak, find his weapon, because it knew his fury and his despair. He didn't have a weapon when I found his body. I'll search the battlefield. Where can I find him? In Doren's camp. She recovered him after the battle. Very well. Not far from there is a sacred circle. You'll find me there when you have united all that I need. Then we can perform the ritual when the moon is high. In that case, let's go together to the ritual site. The place of the attack is not far from Doren's camp. Very well. I'll follow you. I recognize this weapon. It's Katasax, I'm certain. It must have been broken during the battle. Let's take it back to Mev. Were you able to find the elements I need for the ritual? Yes. Here is what you asked me to bring. This is good. The moon is high. We may start. Take your place. Katasar, we have come to learn the truth of your death. Ato al konfrangawi brandi, olehana memen adestame haman. Bara vridenan tahanemo kwate grenpen, linkui dam darenau te da hodos. Lemat, de tahawan kloisam, de ta lugedon velam. The Taragam Buledam, the Tataminam Reloidan, and the Talaman Kantebaidam, and Antelam for Frag Tangom. Katasak, help me, please.
Show no fear. I do not think he means you any harm. <gasps> what is this? This monster. Why is it attacking us? I don't know. I don't understand. It is as if it seeks you out. It wants you. You never should have done that, Katasach. To save one, Renaikse, you put us all in great peril. His spirit is different. He receives badly. You have woven the bond of the Deathbringer. What is happening to you? Get a hold of yourself. Come on. I cannot believe it. He has returned. Who has? Finbar. The High King. We thought he was dead. He disappeared months ago. Is he the attacker? And what of Constantine? Have you seen a young, blonde-haired man? He was sickly. Yes. The golden haired was there. And he was afraid. Katasakh protected him before he was killed by Finbar. Leave me now. I am very tired. How are you feeling? Better. What are you going to do now? If I want to have any hope of finding Constantine, I must follow Vinbar. I have no choice. I will need to return to his sanctuary in the north of the island. He must be hiding there. You know where he is? Yes, but I wasn't able to enter. I have one seed, but I need another. Vinbar is a very powerful Donegad, as well as being the Hoi King. He has access to knowledge that even I cannot attain. He has seen the true face of an old mill Frichtiman. His secrets must be well kept. And he would only have shared them with those he loved the most. Yes. I must find Sela. She is certainly the only one to know which seed is needed. Thank you, Mev. You have helped us greatly. Do not thank me. I have not done this for you, but for Katasach. In order to satisfy my curiosity, I betrayed my king. You will find him and confront him, no doubt. All that remains for me to do is to pray that I have done nothing that cannot be fixed. Farewell. And so you have left the cavern, Renaikse. And here you are again. I have no idea why you suddenly decided to shut us in there, but it matters little. I must know what second seed is required to open the door to the sanctuary. Now, more than ever, we must find Vinbar. He slew Katasak, and he holds my cousin captive. Vinbar would not have killed Katasak. He respected him. And why would he bother with your cousin? I have no idea why. But I know it to be true. The Tiana Hach Kadaktus revealed this to me. Would you accuse her of lying? No. You are the one who lies, like all the other Renaikse. And I thought that I could trust you. I should never have let you enter the cavern. And even less have allowed you to leave there alive. Eight more! <laughs> Now that we have both seeds, the ritual should work.
King Vinbar. Why? Constantine didn't do anything. He has never sought to wrong your people in any way. Like a worm, he burrows. You are so naive. You cannot see with my eyes. An old Milfrichtimin saw the wound. From atop the volcano, he warned me of the danger. Fed by bitterness, driven by desire, taking without giving, he will be the end of us all. You have gone completely mad. Take it. You are too blind, too renaixe to understand. Leave him! With him. Your cousin is probably freed from his stone prison. You're right. Let's go see him quick. Constantine! Wake up, please! I beg you! Hang on. We're bringing you home to get you healed. Three days have passed since we returned. I need to go to the palace to see if Constantine has finally awoken. You should get some rest. You're not being reasonable. To hell with reason. I've rested long, and I'm well enough. You've just barely woken from a stupor that had you on death's doorstep. The affairs of state can certainly wait another day. Let me... <sighs> Thank you, my lady, but I am amazingly well. You can take leave of me with no fear, I assure you. He just escaped a deathly sleep, and here he is, ready to conquer the world. Your cousin is exasperating. <sighs> what now? Are you going to scold me as well? No, no, no. I'm, I'm just relieved to see you're still alive. <sighs> I'm quite relieved myself, actually. Thank you, cousin. Without you, I would be dead thrice, wouldn't I? Or is it the fourth time? If we start counting the time you stop me from climbing the ramparts of Serene, we'd be up to five times now. It's unbelievable. You feel no pain whatsoever. And your complexion. <sighs> I haven't even taken a look at myself. Is the improvement visible? 
I wouldn't go that far. How is it that... What happened? Don't make that face. It's merely a major miracle. Come on now. I'm gonna tell you everything. We have been waiting for your return. I knew you would do everything in your power. I have always trusted you. But Katasak feared that I would not hold on long enough. He spoke to me about a ritual that would help me. I was excited about it. And in spite of all that has happened, I don't regret following him. We went to the ancient site. A place full of magic. I followed his instructions. And all of a sudden, what an incredible sensation. I felt better than I have ever felt, cousin. Alas, we had very little time to celebrate. Cries came to our ears, and beasts jumped all over us. We fled for a while, as other soldiers fought through, creating a path to join us. But I can see from your face that you know this already. Indeed. Once on the ritual site, I followed your tracks and deduced what had happened. It seems that Vinbar was targeting you specifically. Did he say anything to you? I was still very weak, and most of the time he whispered in his own language. It seemed that he was speaking to someone and following his orders. But there was no one other than us, cousin. The crazy madman must have been hearing voices. Do you have any idea why he didn't kill you like the others? No. No, not really. It seemed like he was trying to tell me something, though. He spoke about isolating me from the world, that I couldn't return to the Earth. It made absolutely no sense. But aren't you happy that he let me live? Don't speak foolishly, of course. I just want to understand. Tell me more about this ritual. What did it consist of? It is, I think, a ritual that the Donegada practice to bind themselves to the island. Donegada? Katasak taught you their language? Just a few words. He wanted me to learn, to understand, but we had so little time. So he visited this infamous site, where he prepared for me a sort of potion. What ceremony! I had to cut my hand in front of an enormous stone, and there, a gigantic beast came, and started circling around me. It was incredible! I truly felt a bond with that place. Like a wave came through me, as if the power of the island was running through my veins. It was marvelous. And now I am on all Manawi, like you! Even if the Malachor left me a few of its marks. But you had to encounter the god of the island, didn't you? How was Enon Mil Frictuman? Yes, I passed a trial for that. But the only one who could guide me to the sanctuary is dead. Oh no. Do not tell me. And yes, only the High King can open the sanctuary according to Glendan. I have no choice but to return to see him. I'm certain they are going to name a successor. Good day, Glendan. Beort Tirtomat, Karans of Katasach. We learned of his death. And they washed Tire. Alas, his was not the only tragic loss. Your High King, Vinbar, is also dead. He was taken by folly. He went away into his mountains after killing Katasach and capturing my cousin. Nothing I could say would allow him to see reason. Are you telling me that you were the one who killed him? Kirton Sidak. What happened? How could a friend of Katasak do such a horrible thing? I'm sorry, but your High King did not leave me any choice. He was at the point of killing my cousin and then he attacked me. He was becoming a guardian, 
A Nardaig. Perhaps it was for that reason that he lost possession of his wits. I believe you. You have sufficiently proven your friendship. But something escapes me. Why? Why would Vinbar have done such a thing? His offering to Tiafradi does not justify what he did. You know that I wish to see Enonmil Frigdeman, and he was the only one with the power to allow me to do so. I would not have caused his death voluntarily. Believe me, I'm just as sorry as you. On the worst, Tire. We will celebrate his memory as well as those of all the members of our council that have fallen. Bladnit, Katasak, and now our High King. These are dark times, but in spite of our mourning, we must elect a new High King. The children of Tiafradi cannot remain without a guide. All the more so in these troubled times. I will notify the Mal of all the clans so that they may know to travel here. Who has a chance of being elected, in your opinion? Deirdre is powerful, and many clans would follow her. The wisdom of Dunkas will also attract support from many. And there is also Ulan, a clever fox who is very capable of convincing the entire world with his honey-dripping words. Deirdre, Dunkas, and Ulan. I must convince them to help me if they are elected. I suppose. I must begin the preparations. You must leave now. I must leave. Goodbye. Kwa awelem seg. What do you seek? I am the bearer of bad news. Your High King Vinbar is dead. Dead? And the first Tire. He was a good king in times of peace, but he was plunged into doubt by your arrival. He was no longer at his people's side. Glendan told me that you would be one of those keen to replace him. That's true. If Bladnid were still here, I would have given her my votes and followed her into battle. But since she's no longer with us, I must obtain the title and do what should have been done a long time ago. Drive away the Renaixi and take back our island they want to enslave. Will you drive us away too? We will drive away the Renaixi. You are on all Minawi. You will have to pick a side. I see. If you were to be elected, I would need your help to allow me to meet Enon Miel Frichtemann. Only he can help us cure the Malachor. Why should you be preoccupied with a disease striking those we want to drive away? I have my own reasons. But you should know this is the best way for the Renaigse to leave the island of their own accord. You have helped my people. You are our Karants as well. You can count on me to help you. Once I am the High Queen, I will lead you to the Sanctuary. You seem certain you will obtain the title. Those who covet victory must do everything they can to obtain it. Don't you agree? The old kings wore a legendary crown, which was lost during the war against the people of the sea. Whoever were to retrieve it would be chosen. And you know where it is? I believe it is located in the Tomb of the Kings, a holy place not far from the village of Vignamri. I do not know exactly where it is, but it is said that the path leading there is strewn with spears, and that the entrance is marked by a dead tree, and protected by a Nadaig Magaman. Do not worry. I will find this place and retrieve the crown before the election. If I want to be certain of the outcome of this vote, I'd better go and get this crown myself. Anything more? I need to be going. Well, I'm sick. Now we have earned the trust of one of the pretenders. We just need to find that crown. You are 
are willing to the fate of all my people to meet an on Mirfrichtman. I understand that you might find this idea unpleasant, but the survival of the whole continent relies on this encounter, Siora. It is my feeling that you do not understand the consequences of such a decision. Everyone on the island will listen to the words of a High King. I hope you and your allies share the same ideas. Because once the crown is on their head, we will have to follow their course. You're right. It's a decision that's more important than our quest for an antidote. I must dwell on it. When you see Vad, give him my thanks. If it weren't for him, one of my friends would probably be dead, poisoned. That is the task of the Donegada. Helping others when they are in need. I'm glad he could help. I'm the bearer of bad news. Vinbar, your high king, is dead. Ande Voshtire. He was a great king and a very wise Donegad. We haven't seen him in a long time, but his memory shall be honored. Glendan told me that you would probably be among those who would want to take his place. I am not looking for power, but Tiafradi needs peace and balance. And I fear the other kings may want war or be motivated by ambition. The Renaise brought chaos with them, and our island has suffered. We cannot change the past. And chasing away those who came does not make sense. The wound is there. Refusing to acknowledge it is pointless. But wounds can be healed. And my clan knows how to do this. So if you're worried about my intentions, if I were to become Hoi King, I'll lay them out for you. We must find balance with those from the remote island and live together in harmony. But for this, we must teach the Renaixe humility and to respect the Earth. I would like to meet Enon Miel Frichtemann in order to find an antidote for the disease that is destroying my people. If you were elected, would you help me in this endeavor? You are a Karantz of our clan. And I have witnessed your wisdom and benevolence. I would be glad to help you meet Anon Milfrichtman. And I pray that he will help your people. But you should know that my election is far from certain. The spirits are divided, and some are thirsty for revenge. Would there be a way to make sure that you get picked? I do not like the idea of using such a method. But yes, there is a way. The High Kings of old wore a legendary crown, said to be a gift from Enon Mil Frichtemann. The one who became the first guardian is believed to have taken it with him in death. If someone were to wear it in these troubled times, they would definitely be chosen by the others. And where can I hope to find it? In the burial mound of the High Kings near the village of Vignamri. But it is said that the path towards it is strewn with spears, and that its entrance, situated near a large dead tree, is guarded by a Nardaig Magamen. It is a deeply holy place, and a guardian will not let anyone enter without a fight. If you do decide to go there, fill your heart with humility and respect. For those who rest there were great men.
what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? I regret to inform you that your High King, Vinbar, is dead. And divorced Tire. He was a great man, although he left us a long time ago. But why have you come to notify me of such sorrowful news? Glendan has informed me that you are most likely among those who will want to take his place. It is true, and I will perhaps be able to obtain it. I understand that you may be worried about my intentions, but rest assured, I seek only to bring peace to our lands. Peace brings life and prosperity. By creating an alliance with the people of the continent, the lives of our people will be improved and happier. There is something I would like to ask of you, if you were to be named High King. I would be thankful if you could allow me to meet Henon Miel Frigtiman. Of course. If I become High King, I would be glad to help you. You are Karantz of Ignamri, after all. If you really want to make sure that I win, you will need to seek the crown of the High Kings. What is that? It may only be a legend, but it is said that High Kings used to wear a very ancient crown. The first guardian would have taken it to the grave. If someone were to wear it today, they would surely be chosen. And where is the first guardian's tomb located? Somewhere not far from here, since he fought his last battle nearby. The entrance to his burial mound is said to be guarded by Anadaig Magaman. The path that leads to it, marked by his spears, and its entrance by a large dead tree. But beware, the Nardaig will not let you enter without a fight. Anything else? Nothing. I must go.
What are you doing there? Here lie those who fell facing the first invaders. And you dare enter and scatter their bones. I did not come here with the intention of defiling this place. No. You came looking for a crown of the High King, hoping to choose the one who will lead us. Isn't that what you are looking for as well? Yes, but I am not a Renaikse. I wish to lead my people to victory, and I have come here seeking something that will make it a certainty. And so? Do you plan on keeping it for one of those who is too wise or cowardly to come and get it themselves? Or will you give me the crown? Dertere is a great warrior. If she reigns, she will unite all of the clans. And with the blessing of Enon Milfrichtum and the people of your island will be chased away from here. Think long on this. If you leave her the crown, she will become the High Queen. You will not be able to change your mind. If I give you the crown, you shall be named High Queen. What will you do with this power? You have already shown to all that you are not like the other Renaikse. I will not hide from you the truth. Tirfradi does not want to welcome your people. They toy with us, take without returning, kill and pillage. I will unite my people and cast all of the Monesenaig into their ocean wagons. They will go and pillage elsewhere. You want the crown so you can more easily rid yourself of my presence afterward? If you give it to me, you will become our Karants. And we do not chase away our Karanten. And also, you are on all Manawi. You are bonded to this land, not to theirs, no? I have come here looking for this crown, because I need the help of the next High King. I must meet Enon Mil Frigdeman to ask him to heal my people. Are you sure that they are your people? Very well. It is a very great honor you ask of me. But you took great risks in order to obtain it. If you give me the crown, I will open the sanctuary to you. You may speak to Enon Mil Frichtiman. I swear this to you. Sorry, Derdre. I believe someone other than you must become the High King. Someone more easily manipulated, who will obey the orders of the Renaikse, no doubt. Too bad. You leave me no choice. I have come to take that crown, and I won't leave without it. Bit of poison. Enough. I accept my defeat. Take this crown. I am not worthy to wear it, so it seems. So it seems indeed. We will meet again at Dorhad Genedu. Until then, Derdra. I went into the tomb. I found the ancient crown of the High Kings. And so, you entered into one of our most sacred places. May this adventure have brought you wisdom and understanding of our people and of your own history. This relic is venerated. The one who wears it will certainly be elected. But you know that, do you not? Yes, I do. I need to be certain that whoever is named will help me meet Enon Mil Frichtiman. I have pledged my honor to help you, and my words are true. 
but more is being played here than a simple meeting. You know that I work for a tempering of spirits, the healing of wounds of Tifredi, and those of your own continent. But the decision is yours, to the sun that was lost and refound on our island. Take it. I trust you. In your wisdom, may we be guided towards a peaceful future. The Council has begun to unite. It is time for me to go. Thank you for choosing me. I will do all in my power to bring you what you desire. You have my promise. Congratulations, Dungus. I'm certain that you will be a very wise High King. And now, are you ready to keep your promise and take me to meet with Enon Miel Frichtemann? You are burning with the impatience of youth. But according to tradition, I must first go to the Sanctuary on my own. Without the blessing of Tifradi, my title is nothing but empty, meaningless words. But fret not. How could I be called wise if I went back on the promise I made my friend as soon as I got elected? Meet me at the Sanctuary's entrance in two days, and I will open its doors for you. Thank you, Dunkus. I'll be there. <sighs> I hope you have some cards or dice on you to pass the time, unless you'd rather go somewhere else. There you are, Karantz. How was the encounter? Enon Mil Frichtemann welcomed me like a mother would welcome her child. Or you will have to meditate on everything he told me, and think about the warnings he gave. But now he's waiting for you. I will open the way. Once you are in the sanctuary, always stay on the right-hand path, and keep a confident heart. Those who let doubt take hold of them and turn back risk awakening the guardians of this place. Kwa Aulam Seg.
child that was taken has returned the flesh of my earth. You, by simply coming into being, have tangled the strings of destiny of all the other children. I am he they call an on meal free men. I have followed each of your steps since your arrival. I hail you, Enon Miel Frichtemen. I have come to you to find a remedy. A cure for the disease of a distant land. Her affliction was to be poisoned by her own children. Her veins rocked in stagnant water. Her earth now bears poisoned fruit, and her children wither and die. And still it is those same children who can heal the lands, and with them heal themselves, if they only want it truly. They could be taught by my children, Learn to give back in return. Learn to heal. But for that, I must survive. I have seen by your side the shadow grow, taking form. Fed by the venom of intrigues from faraway lands. He spreads it today in my sap. To save his own life, he stole my strength, and that strength has driven him mad, because it is not made to be taken. He draws each day a little more from me, and threatens us all. His hunger has no limit. I don't understand. Who are you talking about? The one you call Constantine. You must stop him. Or there will be no cure anymore for anything or anyone. That... That's impossible. How could that be? You must leave now. Someone has followed your footsteps. Someone has entered here without invitation. My children are waking and tracking. They will attack all from us. Flee. I saw a man running out of the sanctuary, and I heard the cries of creatures inside. Is everything all right? Did you manage to get the answers you were expecting? Yes. He told me that the Malachor had appeared because of the way the Colonials have treated the Earth. It's actually some kind of poisoning. And it would be possible to cure it, but I'm not sure that I understood how. Words that come from the heart of the island carry with them a wisdom, which may sometimes be difficult to grasp. If you need help, I would be glad to be of assistance. My clan knows how to heal the earth. Thank you, Dunkus. I suppose I just need time to think. You haven't told me everything, have you? There appears to be a storm weighing down on your forehead. It is true. 
But it is something I must verify by myself. Oh, I see. Do not hesitate to come and find me if I can help you. Qua aulum secarans. Goodbye. My dearest cousin, I am so glad to see you. You are right on time. We have visitors, and your advice would be most welcome. Let me introduce you to the emissaries of Teleme and the Coin Guard. <sighs> Quite brazen, isn't it? That they would send us an emissary after having tried to assassinate me. The commander must have a solid reason. That's what I hope. Your Excellencies, we're listening. San Mateus has been sustaining attacks of unprecedented violence. They can only be the works of the demons worshipped by the islanders. Really? Demons? How interesting. The Mother Cardinal is begging you to send her some troops, as well as your cousin. We have the same problem. Our men are becoming exhausted, fighting off endless attacks. We were hoping that, despite our past differences, you would agree to help us. How neatly summarized. Our past differences. My dear allies and neighbors, we are deeply saddened by your misfortune. However, the size of our troops has greatly reduced after the horrific attempt at a coup. And regarding sending my cousin, he's already very busy undertaking a mission of the utmost importance. Without even mentioning the fact that what you describe fills me with fear for his life, which is most precious to me. <sighs> no. I really don't see how I could be of assistance to you. Constantine, we cannot remain deaf to the call of our allies. I'm sure I can find time to go and evaluate the situation. I would love to accompany you, but my people are being wrongfully accused. I am certain of it, and I want to prove it. Very well, my dear. You know I cannot refuse you anything. But, remember how urgent it is for this antidote to be found. We are so close to it now. Don't worry about it. You know how important this mission is to me. Well, this audience is coming to an end. Your Excellencies, inform your governors of my cousin's arrival. I hope that you realize how grateful you should be to him. Absolutely, sire. Thank you for receiving and hearing us. Constantine, my dear cousin, I'm always happy to see you. What news do you bring? I finally managed to enter the sanctuary at the heart of the island, and I was able to talk with Enon Miel Fruchtemann. How marvelous! Tell me about it. The sanctuary is heavily protected. Only a high king can open it. <sighs> I remember you saying that Vimbar's death wasn't going to help us. How did you fix this problem? I had to interfere in the natives' elections and earn the trust of the pretender who seemed to be the best choice. You really are an outstanding diplomat. My father is an old, bitter man, but he was right about you. Tell me, who did you choose? Dunkus. He's the king of the village of Vigigador, and a Dunegad full of wisdom. I am certain that you have made the right choice. And then what did you do? I was able to enter the sanctuary. It was an incredible experience. It had to be. Oh, how I envy you. Entering the most secret places on this island, talking to a god! What does he look like? Is he some kind of very old and very powerful Donegad? No. In fact, I spoke to an extremely large tree. As strange as it may sound. Fascinating. And I thought that gods were always old bearded men. Did he tell you where the Malachor was coming from? Is it a curse that he cast upon the first settlers? No. According to him, we are responsible for the emergence of the Malachor. By exploiting the Earth so much, we have poisoned it. And the disease has contaminated us through the water that we drink and the plants that we eat. Strange, and yet it seems plausible. So, there wouldn't be an antidote? He says that the Earth can be healed. That his children know how to do it. I suppose he was talking about the Donegada. 
He also said that by healing the Earth, we would heal those who live on it. This is a fascinating revelation. It won't be easy for our neighbors to accept it, however. I'm afraid that even my father might receive it with skepticism. Did he tell you anything else? No, but it's true that the conversation ended abruptly. An intruder had managed to sneak into the sanctuary, and we had to flee to evade the wrath of its guardians. An intruder, you say? Then I guess this sanctuary isn't that heavily protected. Your work really is exemplary. The entire continent should be thanking you. Is there anything you would like to tell me? I must take my leave. Take care, and come back soon. Sir de Sade, seeing you is a genuine relief. Your emissary informed us that you were in need of our help. Indeed. She must have told you that we were being attacked. We are sustaining the relentless assaults of furious animals, which some people believe to be sent by the demons of the island. Some people? So you're not certain that's the case? We were mistaken when we thought them responsible for the Malachor. I became more cautious. But no matter where these attacks come from, our men are becoming exhausted. One of our outposts to the east has sent us a distress message. They won't hold much longer. I beg you, you must go to their aid. Maybe they can help you find out where these beasts come from. I will go there and meet them. I hope to make it in time. I am infinitely grateful, Your Excellency. You have proved your efficiency many times already. I am certain you will put an end to this. I must leave you. Naturally, Your Excellency.
You shouldn't stay here. We're sustaining terrible attacks. The animals appear to be crazy. They already killed several of my soldiers. We are actually here to help you. Are you the backup? We were starting to lose hope. I must admit that I was praying for more soldiers, but any help is welcome. We're under attack every night, and we've already lost a lot of men. At this rate, we won't survive another night. Don't worry. We will do everything in our power to make sure that you do. You still have some time to prepare before these beasts attack again. All right, let's wait. Ready, weapons! There they are! Succeeded. Bravo, soldiers. We have resisted. Thank you, Excellency. I do not know what would have happened had you not helped us. My troops and I owe you a hearty drink. <sighs> Thanks for your help. You are an extraordinary fighter. If it weren't for you, the outpost would have undoubtedly fallen tonight. If these attacks are always this violent, even with our support, it won't hold much longer. We must uncover the origin of these attacks. I've thought about it, and I sent a few men two days ago in the hope that they would find out where the attacks came from, and first and foremost, why they are attacking. But I haven't heard from them since. I'm afraid I might have sent them to their death. Could you at least tell me which way they went? I might be able to track them. They followed a trail going north of a place the natives call the Woods of Lightning. Thank you, officer. I will do everything in my power to find them. Until then, try to hold on. You be careful. Goodbye. You think Deirdre might be involved? It would not surprise me in the least.
We should follow if we want to find them. This man will die if we don't do something about it. What? What happened? You... You saved me. Thank you. Uh, I'd be dead if it weren't for you. Your officer sent us. He told us that you were looking for the origin of these attacks. Uh, and we found it. We followed the beast's trail and... The... And it led us to a large glade east of here. You'll find raised stones there, the ones which are worshipped by the islanders. There was a, a, a creature there, a, a beast so large and so ferocious. I've, I've never seen anything like it. That's what must have been attracting the animals. We wanted to kill it, but it prevailed. All my comrades fell in battle against it. I fled. I had to inform the lieutenant. And you were right. Don't worry. We'll take care of it now. We, we took some notes and, and we drew a map as we progressed. It, it may be of use to you. Everything is in that chest over there. Here. Take the key. Let's see if you can 
reward of this fate! It was this creature who was leading the animals. It looks like a guardian, but its skin is strange, covered with ulcers, as if it was sick. That could explain its change in behavior, but not the intelligence with which these attacks were led. Your Excellency, it would seem that you and your family have kept your cloak of mystery. The envoy the Divesps were supposed to send never turned up. Which is extremely impolite. Your Eminence, I'm afraid that family is not known for its dependability. I can attest to that. What a pity. We shared such a good relationship with them in Teleme. Anyway, what can I do for you? You are back. I hear there are no more attacks. Once again, your help was a blessing. Did our troops survive? There were some losses, but the outpost is still standing. And it's thanks to them that I was able to follow the creature's trail. The officer sent out a small party hoping that they would be able to solve the problem. Now that's a resourceful man. Did his initiative bear fruit? His men died, alas. But following their tracks led me to the creature who was leading the animals. It resembled a Nardaig Manaman, a mountain guardian, but it seemed like it was sick. Its skin was covered in stains and ulcers, and its behavior was different from the other guardians I've met. Where could it have come from? And why did it send all these beasts after us? I don't know, but someone must be behind all this. These attacks are too coordinated and too complex to be the work of some creatures. You are a man of great ingenuity. I have no doubt that you will solve this mystery. At any rate, I am extremely grateful for the help you have given us. You're welcome. Anything else? I must leave you. Naturally, Your Excellency. Sade, glad to see that resentment didn't prevent your cousin from sending you here. I must admit that I had doubts. I'm here to listen to what you have to say. It doesn't mean that we'll help you. So, your emissary told us that Hikmet is sustaining attacks. It's true. Enraged beasts are relentlessly attacking the city and its outposts. My men are tiring themselves out, killing them by the dozen, but they just keep coming. If nothing is done, they'll eventually break through our defenses and invade the city. It will be slaughter. San Mateo suffered similar assaults. The beasts were led by a creature, some sort of Nardaik, different from the ones I have seen before. Maybe it's sending creatures here as well. But I killed it, so the attack should have stopped. They haven't. San Mateo is far from here. Something else must be going on. I'm convinced that these rebel savages are behind all this. They must believe that the Alliance still controls this town. I sent a scouting party to find out where they are hiding and taming their beasts, but I haven't heard from them since. We must find them and above all stop these attacks. I'm not used to saying this, but for the good of the population, I need your help. Do you know which way they went? No. Officer Rainhill, the supervisor of the outpost outside the city, is in charge of them. 
She'll be able to tell you where their tracks lead. Very well, Commander. I'll go see her. Anything else? I must go. Naturally. I wouldn't want to hold you back. You managed to make it through. A group of these enraged beasts managed to get past our defenses. Yes, we fought and defeated them. But how did they make it through? My men are exhausted. We killed some of them, but we were overrun. Our situation is getting more and more desperate. I don't suppose I need to warn you about the dangers of this road. Actually, that is why we're here. Your commander sent me. He's lost contact with a group of trackers and is worried about them. And I hope that he'd sent you as reinforcements. Silly me. It looks like all we're good for is dying to protect his bloody city. But you wanted to ask me something. As I said, the commander sent me to find some trackers. He told me that you could help me. I'd like to see you try. Indeed, I was ordered to send out a party of scouts, which I did, despite our losses. They were supposed to find the bastard who's been sending us these critters. One of those savage sorcerers, no doubt. Can you tell me which way they went? Sorry, Your Excellency, I won't tell you anything until I receive some help. You have to understand, I hope that these men are alive. They are also under my command. But those who are here with me now are my main preoccupation. And as we speak, they're dropping like flies. Not to mention the fact that if this outpost falls, there won't be much left to protect the city. So you can go and tell the Governor that if he wants me to help you, he will have to help us first. I understand that your situation is desperate, that you want to take care of what appears most urgent. But it's not simply about me saving a few men. It's about stopping these attacks once and for all. By getting to their root cause, I intend to put an end to it. And then any help you hope to receive won't be needed any longer. You're right. I'm sorry, these attacks have made me lose my nerve. I don't know what I'm saying. They went towards the west, where the rebels are most numerous. Are you talking about the Denea Exregal? If you like. The Governor is certain that these savages are behind the attacks. So I sent my men to find their camp. This isn't the first time that we've tried to find them. But now our survival depends on it. I see. Well, thank you, Captain. I'll try to find your man and put an end to all this. Good luck. And if my men are alive, send them back here, will you? You can count on me. I must go. Goodbye, Captain. Goodbye, Your Excellency.
Who are you? What are you doing here? Are you the scout sent by the governor of Hikmet? Can't you tell? He was worried that he wasn't getting any news from you and asked me to find you. He wants me to help him put an end to the attacks. Have you discovered anything? Yes. A camp of rebel savages. We suspected there was one around here, and we finally found it. They must be the ones sending us the beasts. They all come from this region, and these barbarians have sworn to eliminate us. So we... You may be right, but I'd rather be certain. I know the leader of this camp. I'll go talk to her. You... you knew of this camp? These savages are responsible for dozens of deaths, maybe hundreds. Why didn't you inform the governor? Because I'm a diplomat, not a scout. You should go back to the outpost now. I'll take care of all this. I wanted to speak to you about the assaults that Hikmed and its outposts have been sustaining. Assaults? We have nothing to do with it this time. My men are not ready to attack the big city. They're not being attacked by men, but by beasts. Dozens of them. So, they are also attacking the Renaigse? That's a relief. What do you mean? The animals are attacking us as well. They throw themselves at any man crossing their path. As if they were enraged. They even throw themselves at the camp's defenses. I had never seen anything like it before. A similar thing was happening west of the island. The animals were being led by some sort of guardian. It resembled a Nardaig Manaman, but its skin was black and covered in ulcers. I have never seen a guardian that fits the description you've given. I don't think they exist. Could a Denegad have done this? You're a typical Renaigse. You don't understand anything. The Nardaig are our ancestors. None of our people would make a Nardaig suffer, even if their heart was black and full of resentment. And yet someone or something is making the beasts aggressive here as well. And we must find it. We? Do you want us to work together? Why shouldn't we? Don't you want this to stop too? That's true. Mal! Our guardian! He had changed! He is attacking our own! What? Come! Follow me! A bit of poison on my blade! Then let's go! Make a potion if you want to cast more spells! Let's see if you can ward off this faint! Take a potion if you
my brain. Then let's go! Don't do me, sir, if necessary. No idea. I'm sorry. It left me no choice. You fought bravely, and you did what you had to do. Our Guardian had changed. It no longer recognized its children, and it was the one leading these beasts against us. Something really bad must have happened to it. It resembled the other Guardian I told you about, as if they had the same disease. Guardians don't get sick. They are far more than beasts. And yet you and I saw the same thing. At last. The attack should stop now. What are you doing here? Who are these Renites, eh? Spies? They only came here to discover the source of the attacks. And they thought we were responsible. Why are you still here? You should have gone back to the outpost. I... I'm sorry. We were uncertain that we could trust you. You said you knew these... people. And then we heard cries. And saw the giant creature attacking their camp. And we realized that it was this creature who was leading the beasts. And you discovered that we weren't to blame. Yes. I'm... I'm really sorry. We should go back to the outpost now. But then, if we let them go, they'll tell their leader the location of our camp. You. Are you prepared to swear that you will never speak of this place? You... You saved our comrades and maybe our city by killing this beast, so... Yes. We swear. I hope that they will be true to their word. Fine. They can go. We are extremely grateful. Thank you, Duren. Now, let's go tell the governor of Hikmet about this garden. Qua awelem se And if you find the one who's behind all this, kill him. I suppose that you've been informed. Yes, I was told that the attacks had stopped. So, was it the savages like I thought? No. The Danaea Exregal were being attacked by these animals as well. And they were as surprised as I was to see that the beasts were answering the call of a strange-looking guardian. He seemed to be afflicted by the same disease as the one who led the attack on San Mateus. Either way, the guardians are creatures of the island. They protect the natives. 
The rebels may not be involved in these attacks, but that doesn't mean that another tribe isn't responsible. The natives knew it and said that it was transformed. It looked sick. No native would make a guardian suffer like that. Someone else must be responsible for these attacks. I just don't know who yet. Knowing you, you will eventually find out. And I hope you'll make them pay for those who died in Hikmet. In the meantime, please take this as a token of our gratitude. And as an apology. I now realize that I should never have acted against you or your cousin. Thank you, Commander. I will inform him of your apologies as well as your gratitude. Anything else? I must go. Naturally. I wouldn't want to hold you back. Constantine, my dear cousin. I'm always happy to see you. What news do you bring? We managed to solve the problem of the attacks on San Mateus. Really? So, what was causing them? The city and its outposts were continuously being attacked by animals. These beasts were led by a large creature that strangely resembled a mountain guardian. This is the same creature which High King Vinbar turned into, isn't it? Exactly. Except it looked sick and it didn't act like the High King did. It was calling the animals around it, and it seemed like it was transferring its disease to them before making them attack. I have never seen anything like it. And there's more. Hikmet was in a similar situation. Do you remember? Of course. Don't tell me that a guardian was involved there as well. Yes. The governor was convinced that the attacks were led by the islanders. And yet they were being attacked as well. And it was by their side that I fought the creature. That time it was a Nardai Glenderman. A beach guardian. But it seemed just the sick. And it was also manipulating the animals to make them aggressive. So, it would be some kind of epidemic affecting the guardians. I don't see what we can do about it. Actually, I think you've already done what had to be done by eliminating those that were threatening our neighbors. Perhaps. But I'm certain there's more to it than a simple epidemic. These beasts attack in a coordinated fashion, which requires an intelligence that they don't have. You're exaggerating, dear cousin. The attacks you thought were coordinated may just have been coincidental. You may be right, but I can't help thinking that someone is behind all this. Do you really believe that a Danegad would want to take over the island? Cousin, you know how much I respect you, but frankly, this doesn't seem very coherent. But I see it's already quite late. If you'll excuse me, dear cousin. Regrettably, I must leave you. Where are you going? Not very far. Rest assured. But I have a small personal matter to take care of, you see. Don't be concerned. There's absolutely no risk. Use the opportunity to take some rest. You've really performed miracles recently. See you later. But why would he leave like that? God, do you know where my cousin is going? Sorry, Your Excellency. His Highness didn't tell me anything. You are one of his bodyguards, aren't you? I am, Your Excellency. But recently, it has been difficult to force His Highness to accept our presence. Recently? You mean this isn't the first time he's left without an escort? I... I'm sorry, Your Excellency. You'd better tell me everything. But I... Fine. I don't mean to be disrespectful towards him. But His Highness's behavior has been very... peculiar recently. He sleeps very little and goes out alone almost every night. And it didn't occur to anyone that I should be informed? Well, His Highness had specifically ordered us not to tell you about it. And where does he go? I thought the days when he used to go from tavern to tavern were over. He... he doesn't go to taverns, Your Excellency. From what I know, he... he goes outside the city. Where could he go outside the city? I've no idea. We saw him going north. That's all I know. Listen. I understand this matter is putting you in a difficult situation. You were supposed to protect my cousin wherever he went, but he refused and ordered you to keep your mouth shut. But Constantine is not just my governor. He's my cousin. 
I'm worried about him. He's already been abducted once when leaving the city. So, if you know anything else... I don't really know where he's going, Your Excellency. But I think I know where you could find out. When he doesn't leave the palace, he stays in his office for hours. He writes so much down in there that he could fill entire books. Here, I have the key. Take it. I hope you find His Highness and manage to make him see reason. I don't like this at all. What could he be doing outside every night? He never was very reasonable. But it is true that these walks at night are rather suspicious. I'm starting to believe that the revelations of Enon Mil Frichtemann had some truth to them. Let's rummage through his papers. We may find a clue. Nike say around here. That doesn't happen often. Do you want something? You're very isolated here. Why live so far from a village? It's a long story. Matir, will you tell him? When I was young, I got engaged to a young man. But he wasn't my Menondanem. I thought he was, but I was wrong. And one day, I met the one I would love for all my life. As I had broken my engagement, we were exiled. So, our parents came to settle here. They built this house, and we were born. There. Now you know the whole story. Do you want to know anything else? I'll leave you alone. Kwa awalem seg. May the trees on your road always bear fruit! Thanks. You saved us. These beasts would have torn us to shreds. These animals were strange, as if they were enraged. Thanks again, Renaixi. I'm glad I could help you. And perhaps you can do me a favor in return. I'm looking for a young man, a Renaixi. But he looks a bit like an Onol Manawi. Someone like you? In some ways. But his marks are different, darker. He's talking about the crazy Donegad. Indeed, that might be him. Do you know where to find him? No, we see him passing by around nightfall, but we don't know where he's going. He walks along the path, often followed by some beasts. He has a sinister look in his eyes. He scares me, so we stay hidden. And you do well to hide. I think he's the one who sent these animals to attack you. Do you have any idea how I could figure out where he's going? He could hide in the old house. He would see him passing by, and could follow, couldn't he? You're right. If you take this path to the right, you'll reach an abandoned house. You can hide there, and from up there you will be able to see the path perfectly. Thank you. You've been a great help. And stay hidden. You may still be in danger. Be prudent, Onol Manawi. I'll leave you alone. Kwa awalem seg. We can't be seen from the path. Let's wait here to see where Constantine goes. It's Constantine. 
with some friends. Constantine, what are you doing? Cousin! You're here! I, I, I would have preferred that you learn all of this another way. To be able to reveal everything to you in better circumstances. But whatever power we earn, there are some things that escape us. I have no idea what you're talking about, but what are you doing here? I seem monstrous to you. I am well aware of that. But I promise to explain everything when the moment is right. Then you will understand. You will see. The temptation is so great to share all with you right now. You have done so much for me. You have given me so much. I haven't forgotten, believe me. But I still have more to do. Forgive me and have patience. Hold them back. But do not kill him for anything in the world. Constantine, come back and explain yourself. This is not bad. It's the only explanation. And let's go! Let's see if you can ward off this faint! Let's see if you can ward off this faint! Yeah! <laughs> 
children, my guardians, avert my force. Yes, but I don't understand. What he wants? Eternity, strength, power. It is what they all want. Those who take without looking beyond themselves. Like all those from the faraway lands. He wasn't like that. He couldn't care less about all that. Then it is the sickness. The brevity of his existence that terrified him to the point it changed who he is. You must stop him. Each time that he bonds, he destroys me a little more. And with me, the hope for a cure. And now it's my heart, my most sacred sanctuary that he covets. You must kill him. That is madness. The consequence of his folly, yes. Believe me, there is no other solution. Stop him, flesh of my earth, or there will be nothing left to save. I still can't believe this. I understand what you feel. I have trouble believing it myself. But Enon Mielfrichtemann never lies. We need to stop your cousin by any means possible. We must learn more if we want to understand his plans and prepare against them. This hiding place he was talking about in his notes. We must find it. Don't forget he has a personal guard. He's bound to have warned them against us after what happened. You're right. We should be careful. And we're gonna need an army. Alone against all of these creatures will be no match for them. The natives will follow us. What do you think about the Nords? I would like to answer you myself, but alas, I cannot. The question will have to be asked to the Admiral. The idea disgusts me to ask for help from that Viper Torsten. But his men would be useful. And we could also speak to the Mother Cardinal. The support of the Enlightened can't be refused. <sighs> what an absurd project. On the continent, they would brand us crazy. But not here. On an island where everything is possible, and all folly is accepted. Let us go. We need to put an end to all of this. Your Eminence, I salute you. Sir de Sardé, what can I do for you? Do you remember I thought that someone must have been responsible for the attacks you sustained? Yes, you thought that this guardian who sent us the animals couldn't have been acting alone. And I was right, sadly. You're hesitating. Are you afraid of my reaction? Indeed as the person responsible is none other than my cousin, Constantine. Uh, does this mean that the congregation has decided to wage war on us? And thanks to which obscure alliance has your cousin been able to manipulate these creatures? Constantine acted alone, and he betrayed us as much as he betrayed you, believe me. As for the way he manipulated these creatures, do you remember that my cousin was sick? Absolutely. And it is said that his recovery was the result of a rather suspicious miracle. Are you telling me that your cousin has made a pact with the demons of this island? Something like that. He was cured by a Donegad of the island who performed a bonding ritual. But the power he received from this made him thirsty for more, and he bonded himself to other places, thus gaining control over the guardians who were protecting these sacred places. But why attack us? Did his madness make him forget about our alliance? His thirst for power is making him want to control the island entirely by himself. And I know that for this purpose he will soon attack the native's main sanctuary on the volcano. I won't stand a chance against all the creatures he's taken control of. And I need some help. 
I will go and find the other factions, of course. But we need the help of Teleme. Having a common enemy should help us forget all the differences that have been opposing us. The idea that we would protect the Sanctuary from an insular demon is completely insane. But you have helped us several times, and I trust your judgment. You can count on our help. My men will fight by your side. Thank you, Your Eminence. Thanks to your wisdom, we have a chance to prevail. I must leave you. Naturally, Your Excellency. When you see Vad, give him my thanks. If it weren't for him, one of my friends would probably be dead, poisoned. That is the task of the Donegada. Helping others when they are in need. I'm glad he could help. I came to ask for your help in stopping my cousin, Dunkus. Did you hear about the attacks of creatures led by strange guardians throughout the island? Yes, Darren sent a messenger to tell me about it. My cousin was sick, and to cure him, Katasach used the bonding ritual on him. But the power he received from it made him mad, and he started bonding himself in other places. He transformed his guardians each time, and used them to attack those he considers to be his rivals. What you're telling me is terrifying. Katasach and Evosh Tire should never have bonded him. Your cousin is breaking the balance. He's consuming and will only want to consume more. Indeed. Enon Miel Frichterman warned me that Constantin was now targeting the sanctuary at the heart of the island. I cannot fight him alone. I need allies. I already convinced some other factions to support us, but I also need the help of your people, because we must all stand together to stop the threat that is weighing on the island. Your will to create an alliance between all the peoples on this island is wise and noble. And the call of Enomil Frichtemann cannot remain unanswered. We will be by your side in the battle. I am not a fighter, but Dedra will lead our warriors. And I would also like for you to take this weapon. I pray it will be useful in the fight that is coming. Thank you, Dunkus. Don't thank me. You manage to earn my people's trust. And you fight for a cause that affects us all. May the Earth support each of your steps. And may the volcano give you its strength. I must admit that I expected Dunkus to be more angered when he learned what Constantine had done. Even amongst the Donegal. Speaks in his ear. I think he already knew what was happening, even before we came to see him. That confirms it. I made the right choice. Tiafredi couldn't have a better High King. Oh, Desade, Your Excellency. I hope you can forgive my earlier fit of temper. I let myself fall for that ambassador's lies and acted too hastily. But as that conniver never came back with the proof she promised, I imagine that her allegations were only ever meant to discredit you. I investigated and discovered the identity of the person who orchestrated the attacks on Hikmet. I was certain you would eventually find out who you never give up. So. Who is the bastard responsible for all these deaths? My cousin, Constantine. Your cousin? You have some nerve. What do you want? For me to declare war on you? No. You must understand that the congregation had no hand in this. Constantine acted alone. Ever since he fell ill, he hasn't been himself. And who knows? Maybe the shock he felt after your attempted coup had something to do with it. These attacks would be his revenge. Why target the others then? I don't know. But I know that he performed a native ritual bonding him to the island several times. Each of these rituals gave him a great magical power and control of some guardians. Now he's threatening to target the main native sanctuary at the heart of the island. And if he succeeds, we won't be able to stop him. 
You come here with your bizarre tales about magic, rituals, and sanctuaries. Probably expected me to send my troops out far away from my city. For all I know, you might very well still be acting on your cousin's behalf. If that were the case, why would I have come to your rescue when the creatures attacked you? I could have just let them overwhelm you and your city would have fallen. But despite your treason, I helped you. And I'm now asking you to help me in return. I already managed to convince other factions to support me. But your men are still the best soldiers. If we want to have a chance at saving this island and its population, we must fight together. I am in your debt, it's true. Without your intervention, I would probably have lost my city. And since I don't want you to think I'm ungrateful, I will give you this. I hope that it will prove useful to you, but you will have to fight without us. My men will never follow you in battle. They don't trust you. Sorry, Tasade. That is regrettable. But thank you, Commander. I must go. Naturally. I wouldn't want to hold you back. Ah, De Sarde. I finally heard from my men. They told me what happened with the De Vesps. Thank you for stepping in and freeing them. Without your help, they would probably be dead by now. Anyway, believe me, those De Vesp vipers will not cross this sea unless in chains. But you didn't come here for me to congratulate you, did you? What can I do for you? I have come to ask for your help, Admiral. My cousin has been plunged into madness, and he apparently wishes to conquer the whole island. He took control of many creatures by reenacting rituals he learned from the islanders, and now he uses them to attack the cities and the villages of those he considers to be his rivals. A difficult situation, admittedly, but one that does not concern us. Who's in charge of the island is none of our business to Sarde, and you know that. It actually does concern you. If my cousin takes control of the island, soon there will be no ports where your ships can berth. He's not looking for political influence. He desires power. Absolute power. I see. It's a decent argument. So what now? We must stop him at all costs. And for that, I will need allies. I already have the support of other factions. But I was hoping I could count on the help of the Norts. You're one of ours, Desarde. Of course we will fight by your side in this battle. Thank you, Admiral. Godspeed, Desarde. And good luck. Good day, Your Excellency. Alas. That title signifies nothing anymore, Sir Desade. I'm no more than a simple doctor. I'm truly sorry. Thank you. A great many excellent sages and good people died during this attack. We should have been more vigilant. These traitors must have been planning their coup for a long time. Well then, what might the simple Dr. Buren do for you? Since you broach the subject of treachery with complacency. I'm not sure I understand. What are you speaking about? Have you forgotten that after sending me to save your savants that you then again sought my assistance? According to you, I needed only to convince the Tierna Hakadactus to provide us with a remedy. But you used me like a pawn, seeking in truth to capture her. I... I cannot understand why you are reacting in this way. I was certain that the Witch Doctor would refuse to help us. They have us marked down as enemies, after all. And I had good reason to believe that you would not resort to physical persuasion. You are even ready to use brute force against your own allies. Whatever do you mean? After wounding the Tiana, your spy attempted to kill me, Excellency. And you dare to tell me that my anger is exaggerated. Can I remind you that to assassinate a legate is to declare war against his sovereign? I never... I promise you that I had no intention for any harm to befall you. That man went beyond his orders, I assure you. I implore you, please accept my sincerest and profound apologies in the name of the Bridge Alliance. 
I can only give you the benefit of the doubt for now, Your Excellency. In the meantime, you need not keep a candle lit for the return of your spy. He paid for his audacity with his life. I... He would have been made to answer for such infamy, I assure you. I am all the more sorry because your cousin has been quite generous with me. I should have made myself clearer, made certain that my orders were without ambiguity. And concerning the remedy... There never was a remedy. It was a wild goose chase, perhaps even some sort of machination. No. That... that is terrible. This is a great setback. How could I have been so naive? What a shame. I am truly sorry that you risked your life in vain. We are looking for help. Help? I doubt that I could be of any usefulness, but I'll hear you out, of course. I do not know if it's the Malachor or the ritual that saved him that's to blame. But my cousin has fallen prey to madness. He has decided to take control of the island, using powers he has gained from the peculiar bond he has forged. I'm not sure I understand what you are telling me. Of course I have heard you speak of the miraculous healing of Constantine. But what do you mean by powers and a bond? My cousin participated in a ritual that links him to the island, as many of the natives have done. This ritual saved him and gave him his powers, and now he uses them in his thirst for conquest. I'm not sure I believe in these mad stories which resemble far too much the superstitions of Teleme. But if your cousin wishes to conquer this island for himself, it is vital to stop him. Alas, I no longer have an army, nor even doctors to send to heal your troops. Only this old weapon that allowed me to survive the coup d'etat. Take it. It is a unique weapon that I created myself. I hope that it will serve you well. Thank you, Doctor. I will use it well. Anything else? The cave that Constantine indicated in his note shouldn't be very far. Constantine has marked several places on this map. I recognize some of them. They are sacred places for the natives, places of connection. This place, this journal. My poor Constantine, you have completely lost your mind. What are you hoping to achieve with these rituals? No Donegad has ever done such a thing. It goes against the balance that we are defending. Enon Mir Frichtemann was right. Your cousin wants power. He is feeding from the strength of Tyr Fredi. So much so that he's threatening Enon Mil Frictiman himself. He wants to take his place. <sighs> to think he's been plotting this absurd plan for weeks. He even used us to achieve it. The intruder in the sanctuary was certainly sent by him. 
to scout the place. We'll need to gather allies if we're going to stop him. But we will also have to weaken him and break apart the bonds that he's established. In that case, it would be best to go see Dunkus. After all, he did say that his clan knew how to heal the Earth, didn't he? And Merv is a bit too... hostile. You're right. Let's go and find him. When you see Vad, give him my thanks. If it weren't for him, one of my friends would probably be dead, poisoned. That is the task of the Donegard. Helping others when they are in need. I'm glad he could help. As I've told you before, my cousin bonded himself in many places before he decided to target the heart of the island. You did tell me, and you must know that by doing so, he has acquired a power that no Donegada has ever possessed. That is why I need your help. We need to break some of his bonds in order to weaken him. Rest assured, all the Donegada will answer to the call of their Hoy King. And with their help, we will heal the wound your cousin has opened. However, to accomplish this, it is I who will need your help. What can I do? During the ritual, the one who is bonding himself spills some of his blood near the base of a stone. And this blood summons a guardian. The guardian lifts the stone so that it may serve as an anchor point for the bond. The only way to break this bond is to have a guardian topple the stone. We will be able to do it, but these rituals take a long time. Too long to be done quickly. So, in the meantime, you must prevent your cousin from drawing magic from the place. Here, take these seeds and plant them at the bottom of your cousin's bonding stones. These plants grow very fast, and their roots will prevent him from drawing the strength of Tifradi. However, you must be careful, because the guardians corrupted by him will come to defend the stones. Thank you, Dunkus. And thank you for wanting to stop your cousin. Don't worry. I will send my people to finish the work of the plants I have given you.
Now let's plant a seed Dunkus gave us at the base of the raised stone. Look! The plant seems to be growing extremely fast. The Donigarda of Dunkus's clan are sure to be here soon to finish breaking the bond. Look! The plant seems to be growing extremely fast. The Donigarda of Dunkus's clan are sure to be here soon to finish breaking the bond. Hello, Glenda. Bjort Tirtomad on Olmenawi. What can I do for you? To tell you that men are going to come all the way to the sanctuary. Some Renaigse. I thank you for coming to warn me in person. But our High King has already spoken to me. I am disgusted to welcome warriors of the faraway island. But the decision is not mine. And in truth, we do not have the choice, do we? No. It is all of Tirfredi and Enon Mil Frichtemen that's in danger. We have need of every able warrior to protect them. You need to prepare yourself as well. I fear that you will not be spared. We will fight, have no doubts. Because such is our duty and our will. These are our lands that are attacked. I have no doubt. Good luck, Glendan. May the rocks give you their toughness. You shall need it more than everyone else. Can I do anything else for you? I must leave. Goodbye. Kwa awelem seg. How are you feeling, my child? What you are about to do is difficult. Don't make it harder than it has to be, Petrus. Fighting against your cousin isn't pleasant, but it's the only logical thing to do. A nicer way of saying he has no choice. Indeed. I must stop Constantine, regardless of what it may cost me. 
Not only to obtain an antidote to the Malachor, but also to save this island. I have learned many things by your side, and thanks to you, I was able to give my mother back to the Earth. I won't forget this. And this is my land, my people. I will be by your side. You will not go through this ordeal alone. We will all be with you. After all, this concerns all of us, doesn't it? Naturally. We will be by your side to support you both physically and spiritually. Thank you. You have been precious allies, and you are proving once more the value of your friendship. Now let's go. It'll be a shame if we arrive too late. Constantine managed to get through. Let's hurry. Someone has to stop these creatures, otherwise you'll never reach Constantine. Are you sure that you want to do this? If I can give you just a few more minutes, at least it's something. So yes, I'm sure. Go now and stop your cousin. I don't want to be doing this for nothing. In that case, thank you. And good luck. There you are. I was starting to think that we would die here for nothing. 
Your cousin just passed through here with a horde of beasts, and he keeps sending us more. We won't hold very long. We're not used to fine creatures like these. We are, and we will hold long enough for you to reach the heart, even if we must die in the process. But you must chase him. You must prevent him from performing the ritual at all costs. If Enon Milfrichtemann dies, we're all doomed. I'm well aware of that, believe me. But here come some more beasts. Two arms! Stay with my people. And I'll stay with her. One blade more can't hurt. We need to prevent the beasts from following your tracks. Yeah, we could use some help here, to be honest. I wouldn't have put it that way, but the Moridigan isn't wrong. You see? Over and done. You should go now. And may the volcano give you its strength. Well, good luck. There you are. Praise the Enlightened. Your cousin... ...has already reached the heart. Our other allies inform me. They are also trying to stop the creatures. What do you intend to do? Pursue him all the way there and do everything I can to stop him. In that case, may the Enlightened keep you in his divine... Oh no. More beasts are coming! Be prepared! It's my turn. I'm staying with my people. I knew you'd say that. Well, I wasn't going to let the young ones get all the glory. Your help would be a blessing, father. You see? You should go now, my child. Be careful. We are all praying for your success. Thank you, Petrus. Be careful, too. Restrain him!
I'm sorry. Why? Why have you done this? But for you. For us. So that we may live free at last. This makes no sense. Constantine, it's madness. You don't understand because you're still attached to the old world. This old, dying world which, to survive, has betrayed, used, and manipulated us and would not have hesitated to kill us. Perhaps, but... I've seen death, cousin. And I understood the vanity of it all. My father's ruses just so he could earn more power. The political bowing and scraping to preserve corrupted nations. I have been offered unrivaled power, allowing me to get rid of this. To send the old world back to its inevitable death and to build something new here. Something unique. And this new world is my gift to you. You and I could be its new gods, the immortal and benevolent monarchs. He himself is the incarnation of the old world he is speaking of. He has its vices and its poison. For his own immortality, he's prepared to destroy everything around him, to break millennia of cycles. I implore you, flesh of my land, think of all the lives that will come to an end to feed his pride. Don't listen to this old god. He's like all the others, after all, clinging to life. All you have to do is to bind yourself here, with me, and we will be gods together, forever. After the fall of Constantine, my young student managed to establish stronger links between the old nations and the natives. Some of their Donegada were even invited to the continent, and with their help, it slowly became a land filled with life again. And for the first time in a long while, the number of cases of the Malachor is decreasing. Those who bravely fought at Dorhad Genadu were celebrated everywhere. After all, if it weren't for this unlikely alliance, the island would have fallen into Constantine's greedy hands. Siora obtained the title of Marl of the Red Spears alongside her twin. She leads them with wisdom, but often reunites with the one she still calls her Karantz. Afra set aside her weapons and went back to her research on the native culture and flora of the island. It is said that she is even writing a book with the help of Dunkas's clan when not visiting her friends. For his bravery, Vasco was awarded the rank of commander. He now travels the sea at the head of a whole fleet, but he often comes back to visit his brother-in-arms. Petrus's ambitions have finally been fulfilled. He obtained the much-coveted title of Cardinal. Despite the responsibilities implied by such a title, he still sometimes visits the one he calls his child. 
These precious friendships allowed my student to slowly forget Kurt's treason, even though he still feels bitter about it at times. Despite the help Ulan received, which allowed him to restore the importance of the seaside Nemeus, he still had to renounce the role of Marl as he faced the contempt of the other clans. Her friendship with Renaixe helped Deirdre to overcome her reticence. She willfully accepted to follow the orders of her new High King. Dunkas and his people spent a lot of time with savants and theologians. Patiently, they shared their knowledge of the Earth and learnt new techniques from one another. And in so doing, they restored balance between the New World and the Old. The public revelations of St. Matthias's life led to a deep change in Teleme. The Ordo Luminis was dismantled for good, and the missionary's purpose is now to establish dialogue rather than conversion. Aware that their culture of secrets would lead them to their demise, the Nords changed their methods. They welcomed numerous new recruits amongst them, notably natives. Although it was weakened on the continent, the guards' influence kept growing on the island around their city of Hikmet. They managed to establish peace with the natives, where the Alliance had only managed to create anger, despite the negative influence of some shady members in their midst. Alas, the Devesp's arrival didn't bring peace to this island. Their scheming left its mark, some of the people of New Serene still believe the lies they spread. However, the abundance of evidence against Aurelia signaled the end of the Devesp's ambitions, both on Tierfredi and the Old Continent, where they were harshly reprimanded by the Council, who relegated them to the status of the most obscure families. <laughs>